The MS obviously not too tragic to prevent them from being able to play here in our online tournament. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they're having going to have a wonderful match. A pretty good netcode in this game. I mean, it pushes our PS5s and computers to the limit. Gameplay about to be pushed to the limit by these two starting off right now. Tampa never sleeps, number 11. Ooh, nice with punish out here. That was that down four that got punished out from Smoke. Big pickup. Yeah, so Shang with the Scorpion loadout is a combo machine. He, uh, he'll he extend very rapidly off right. of Skulls. Huge damage, very meter efficient. Smoke Kun Lao. We've been seeing a lot of success from uh, Smoke and Sub-Zero. Uh, right. But with the Kun Lao loadout, you actually get some in-spring mix. Yes. Having a plus unblock version of double low instead of a unsafe version that you might have to Smoke cancel to possibly stay safe on is nice. Invisible yeah. mix-ups. How do you block these? <laughs> Invisible yeah, anti-air. I think Kung Lao, to your point, is definitely like a very welcome uh, compliment to the uh, hit of Smoke, right? Because there's so much that just players can kind of interrupt on Smoke's kit and then you back it up with the safety of low hat anyways. Nice back to cancel here. And yep, that really got opened two. up as well. Like he had that safety net, right? Of like, all right, cool. If you block my regular string, I'm able to just kind of continue pressure here thanks to this hat. Oh my goodness. Really like back three cancel, kind of mm -hmm. find a lot of damage here all the way to the corner. And in addition to a life lead, uh, just about to arrive at two bars, not spending too much meter on this round. Looking mm -hmm. good for Tragic and Mass over Fight Show Kids, who just arrived at Breaker. Fatal blow there, too, but gonna want to save it to win a round. Get that back three confirm here. Still pressing back two Ooh. overhead, and that's what's so scary about Smoke. We've seen it time and time again that once you start getting the opponent condition, nice anti air down back one. Um, once you get the opponent condition and kind of just crouch block or just kind of respect what Smoke is doing, you kind of open them up for even more pressure later where you get that invisibility pressure, where you get that uh, overhead opportunity. And we've said it before on TNS, you got to be brave against Smoke in a lot of cases. Not for the most part, Vicious Vapor is going to be minus on safe for Smoke, depending upon what's backed up with it. That fear is going to be Kung Lao. But on reaction, you're looking for that down one interrupt opportunity. You're looking for your fast normals to kind of interrupt that pressure. Of course, you do have to worry about that low, right? That's probably the biggest starter out of it. So you'll find a lot of defensive play coming from crouch blocking and then trying to react to these overheads. Easier said than done, of course, but interruptible to say the least. Yeah, you're talking about that back forward three teleport from Smoke, right? The uh, cancelable one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. one too. Yeah, the move. it's forward movement. Uh, on the EX version, you get full immunity. Uh, it's pretty useful to move around yep. and also instantly cancel it, possibly recover, and then get a full combo punish from your full, fully immune attack. And I, I love that Smoke can actually cancel back forward three meterless. In older NRS games, I think that would have probably cost meter and the character yeah. would never have breaker, but that would be a death sentence in this game. Oh my gosh, yeah. For Smoke in particular in this iteration, I think it was a smart call to make it meterless simply because of the reward, like the difficulty in executing that successfully and then getting the reward after, I think is enough of a benefit for him, as opposed to trying to spend that bar because you look at, well, I spent bar to remain invisible and get those invisible mix ups. But Shao Khan, or General Shao, excuse me, we're not quite there yet to the Khan era. It'll be Khan one day. Nah. Yeah, one day. <laughs> now, gonna see Ni? Oh no, actually cashes out damage. I I, I, want, I wanted to make a read on Ni. I thought they might have wanted to go Axeless for the pressure, Ooh. but actually jumped into the corner. That was supposed to be a down two away from the corner, but it went the wrong way. Strange uh, interaction there. Ooh, but Team Horns here from Will Fight Joe Kids. Maybe looking yeah. for a Motaro. He can combo off overheads with his Motaro teleport. Mm -hmm. Plus three on that back two. Great pressure from Fight Joe Kids. Really coming back in this round. The, the Shao must be the main, or this feels like it right now. Yeah, I mean, that's such a scary position for Smoke to be in the corner against General Shao. But we do find our way out here with low hat set up too to guarantee the invisibility setup. We should be able to wrap this up when we do. That seemed, uh, there, was a, there was a low hat down there and an invisible Smoke possibly back to on the other side or landing a jump in. And jump ins on the way down or overhead. So pseudo hard to block. I mean, definitely hard to blockable. Pseudo unblockable. Yeah. That's what we call that. And. Using Fatal Blow is a, in perfect circumstances is Tragic MS. Winning a round that was otherwise pretty much unwinnable from 1%. Yeah. I mean, Mataro we can do low it with, blast. Like, with, uh, with Smoke, right? At least 40% damage we can get off aerial combos, unassisted too. But it's about getting those Ooh. opens. And what an explosive knee. Great call out, even on the invisibility. 
unable to use the axeless pressure to make any significant opening. A little bit of a punishable teleport, actually a lot of it. Waits for the breaker, lost about 15%. Tragic MS just barely ran out of cameo bar. Wanted to keep holding the Lao Hat and give Fight Kid something to land on. Right. Swing. Oh, walked into it. That's troublesome here. Back throw position. Swing, Beautiful help. stuff. But now back four will get punished. Yes, here, though, that's gonna be okay. Well, 1-2 into down 4-4, four, four, which is right. Xiao's Axe Swing, does give you the meter of this combo that would kill there. Uh, just didn't get the hit confirm. The situation was perfect. And this is a lot of damage for Smoke. I think that's a game loss as a result. Yeah, Rushing right in combos. there. Aerial combos from Smoke make it... Uh, that's where the potency comes from, right? Just to get the quick uh, follow-ups. Like, in general, Smoke, you have to be on point in that neutral. We've said it before, and... Um, backed up with Kung Lao. It makes things a little bit easier in the setups like we we're seeing here today for the uh, invisibility, able to apply that mix a little bit more uh, aggressively to keep the opponent guessing. It will fight your kids. It's trying to figure out how to slow things down. I think Xiao was a great pick. Certainly a lot better than uh, you know a little bit more mileage and health uh, than we got out of Shang Tsung. Mm -hmm. But now we're right. going to figure out if we're going to stick with this one here. The teleports, I don't think we're working so well here. The Mataro pick. I saw one really good idea for right. that uh, teleport use for Motaro, which was down back four, aka Axe Slam from Shao, has so much block stun, but is vulnerable to up block. If they do up block it, it, due to it being an overhead, it does become punishable. Right. Teleporting to the other side could make the punish attempt whiff on up block, and Shao is built to whiff punish with stand two, and he has the best micro dashing in the game to ensure that his stand two can reach for whiff punishes in any circumstance that he's capable of recognizing it. So it's Shao sub zero now. Uh, you get fantastic meterless damage out of this. Doing meterless damage means you have breakers available, and catching a jump with down back three gives you a full combo. Picks Ooh. up Axe. Axe was going to come back anyway. There's a lot more combo to pick up. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you called that out there. That were, there was a little bit more on it. as many times as been in this match. I'm like, yeah, there's definitely a lot more to worry about in this situation. We're going to get that back throw here to hold the corner, and that's a great spot for Tragic. Air to air does not come out. So we'll fight. Gets a lucky break here out of this corner. Yep. Stand two and gets a side switch. This is good. Now there's more space to walk back. Make use of stand two. But back two is such a huge commitment from Chow. And Tragic MS Wiz punishes it no problem for a full combo. Building a lot of meter in the process. Ooh. That is such a hard to block of all. Tough. But the side switch ended up putting Tragic MS in the corner. Invisible, confirming a cameo. So oh. resource efficient. I, I really like not spending the meter. Oh, drop the ender. No, that's okay. So <laughs> I, I like, okay, they're going to be point blanket. Oh, never mind. Smoke backed up. That's good. Yeah, Peter Sometimes Parker needs you get some that space round out start. Here flipping around. Yeah. We're like, yeah, one character faces the wrong way. And so you have to down one at round start. It's my favorite thing in every NRS game. So much back too. Yeah, that big whiff right there from Will Fight Your Kids. Got a little bit overzealous, so it allows that back to opportunity. No up block here. It's a little bit of a mile listen, away, but a hard guess situation, too. I'm a back two believer, for sure, but in order to make sure it doesn't get whiff punished, you can use those amazing forward dashes, maybe a little micro dash after, to get in back two's range. Make sure it doesn't whiff. That way you can get plus three on block or combo on hit. The cost of having a 25 frame startup move. Back to mid screen we go. The back throw. Oh my goodness. Down one interrupt here on the cameo assist. So it's going to be a little while before Sub Zero can get any energy yeah. back. Plus frames. You're not allowed to press here. That 4 4 is not your turn. Okay. Ooh. Yes. This does combo. Back three has a lot of hits done. It's going to do about maybe 36, 3700. I don't know if they're mashing or not. Um, let, let's call it 38. But still a long way to go. Tragic MS won't have Breaker for this round, though. So with a proper full damage hit confirm, I do think Fight Show Kids can win in one hit, but it is gone now. The opportunity has passed. As in Mortal Kombat, Fight Show Kids' life passes with a sweep from Tragic MS. A polite finisher. It out here, I'm like, you know what? Like, Shao is kind of a stuff, actually. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I'm yeah. Glad I, wanted to, I wanted to finish the point, though. The next oh, fastest right. mid is down three at 11. So there's just, like, down one you have to press. Everything else is too slow. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's Ad Ash uh, uh, Ashra from Mat Matrix. And you got Reptile Scorpion. This is a team that I've seen Honeybee play to great effect. Plenty of uh, exemplary footage from Reptile Scorpion. Great combo damage, of course. And yes. the overhead that Scorpion provides is also useful. It's a full combo, but unsafe overhead. 
-hmm. Astro Kun Lao is very typical. But we've seen this, and that's not to say I don't appreciate it, but this character is a space controlling mid dispenser, and Kun Lao gives not just low as a string, block string extender, but also neutral control. Astra yeah. can move through the air gracefully um, with like a air to air sword attacks, um, that flip attack. Covering the ground at the same time with Lao Hat is a huge bonus. Everyone in the whole game likes that dude, Kun Lao. He's like my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I see him quite often at the party, hanging out with everybody. Just real chill dude. That guy Honestly. really gets around. He right. He's everywhere. <laughs> and Matrix out here just really controlling the pace of this matchup. I, I did like the teleport right through the gravity ball that we saw earlier, but uh, that really took the round here. Now we're already set up in this corner. Great down one interrupt from Labuna, though. Yeah, Reptile Scorpion does huge damage. You'd love yes. to see And massive corner. This character is so cool. Already equalized. Is one moving forward? This Fatal Blow is a big... Nice. Big oh, a block punish. Tons of damage. Going to get Breaker at the end. Oh, my God. The last hit that killed built the Breaker. And I think... I don't know if that was just optimal routing from Matrix or if it worked out luckily, but using Jump Kick into Special right away is two big damage chunks. Doing as few hits in the combo as possible may be what allowed Breaker to not be built in time. But, you know, this is... Uh, this, I think he was on his way to winning that round in any case. Yeah, complete control in that route. Breaker would have came through, but again, the way that Matrix is controlling that neutral game against Labuno, it's so tough because, like, while Reptile has great damage output, it's just you got to get that ball rolling. Um, and there's that little bit of shock factor, right, of uh, how uh, Reptile can go for the run through. Go opposite side, stay safe off that if you spend the meter. Um, we do see in a rare occurrence, you know, just the YOLO uh, kind of gator roll to see what happens here. I do like the Sub-Zero pick to close that gap. It removes fireball play from Ashra as well, so we can kind of play yep. that zoning game a little bit better against her. Yeah, I like to see all of the ninjas helping each other out in Mortal Kombat. Um, finally all on the same team at the middle of the character select. Ooh. I'm going to call that normal back to you. It just seems like it would be a charge back to you. Um, yeah, yeah. Rep reptile now in the Nickelodeon green slime. Cover it up with some ice accessories. What does it look like when he's covered in his own green slime and has ice armor from Sub Zero? Yeah, wouldn't you just I see, see the, the ice rip? floating? I feel like it just breaks the Can invisibility, it right? Green ice? <laughs> Let me see. It does wow. the, uh, the Metal Gear Solid stealth effect. <laughs> Active camo 98%. <laughs> anyway, it's already. Uh, Reptile's already got this chrome armor, so he kind of looks like he's from the future already, and the ice mm -hmm. makes it even shinier. Ooh. And, uh, great with punish. Yeah, as yeah. you see, there's a lot of system text in this game that communicates with you. Punish means guaranteed. We all know this. Look at aerial combo here for a good 350. Nice down one interrupt as well, too. Not your turn quite yet. I guarantee that was supposed to be armor run through, and it was not active quite soon enough for that one there. Yeah, we got another get up reversal on that too. That was another opportunity there, but didn't have enough health to survive the final hit from Matrix. And the full sword normal almost got the stagger. Picking up off Lao Low Hat is huge there. It literally isn't available otherwise. It's a safe hit confirm opportunity on any normal or string that launches the opponent at all. Ooh. Love the oh, oh, committed to the slide, and we're still swinging. Opened up a little bit too early as Labuno. But just so careful, though. Wow. Yo, co-op, you're, you're totally right. I thought this was smoke for, like, a good 30 minutes until the round started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The silver, I mean, the ninjas being able to be different colors than their iconic ones. A little bit controversial, in my opinion, but it's okay. It's okay. Look, it's Sub-Zero. He's covered in ice. Boom. That's a that's the Deception famous ninja right there. <laughs> yeah. Slow block there, the but time. the stagger sword a little bit too far. Yeah, I love this low pressure. Almost picked up off that overhead too. Yep, the overhead that looks like a jump, so you get excited to anti air it, and then you get hit standing there. It's <laughs> it's such it's an amazing animation mix up. A lot of success on back three's huge range here. Yeah, Labuno kind of played that set from behind, but with three points of health remaining, rounded up to four. Laguna makes the comeback this round, and no fatal blows needed. Takes game one. Of, I mean, uh, takes game two. Has it upon. Yeah, it, it definitely. Again, towards the end there, it looked like Matrix was in control, but then we ended up losing out on Kung Lao Hat, and that got so much mileage in this round too. In particular, getting lots of low damage, just no significant confirms from Matrix to really get that closeout that they were looking for. It just wasn't quite close enough.
Yeah, I wonder if we'll see a cameo switch from Matrix. I know that Sub Zero causes Lao trouble by uh, negating Low Hat's effectiveness at the same time as possibly being useful against Ashra's wave projectiles, which, as we saw many times, long range Ashra normal, whether it's like stand two or forward four mid string, space it out a little bit into projectile. That projectile is always plus. You see, she spends a lot of time summoning it. Anything that takes a long time in a fighting game, it's going to be advantageous for some reason. And in this case, advantageous on block. Is what we'll observe. Still Ashra Lau. Same same character, same matchup, even the same stage. Yeah, I do like the small adjustments here from Labuno. Absolutely, just wait for armor up. Go for that gravity ball. It's all right to get this block. No up block quite yet there. It's always risky too on those jump ins because you can't guarantee the opponent's going to go for that jumping normal. Leaves you vulnerable there. Ooh, whoa! Nice mid to overhead. So the aerial confirm and an overhead to shut down the startup of the uh, low normal there from Labuno. And the Lao 2 piece after keeping the damage multiplying. So we'll switch aside. Has a long Ooh. way to go. Too far to do it though. Yeah, that gator roll is definitely coming out here. Nice. Got our forward throw. Yeah, you see the knee from Ashra's or forward four. 12 frame mid. Pretty mm -hmm. big range. Second hit. Uh, I believe it's overhead, so you yeah. see now low hat there. Instant 50 50 mix off of such an applicable normal. And is that one of the strings that you can up block too? You know, like we saw in the previous set, the back 3 2 from Smoke, you can up block the, the overhead, but Ashra, you cannot. That's a true string there. Yep, almost picked up off the low hat, far away anti air. Call it a trip card, actually. Mm -hmm. Stood up into it. Meeting with the second of a string on whip and long range confirm into plus frames on block. Juggle begins now. Looking no breaks. At the down forward three follow up. Uh, yeah, you know the slide's coming and the run through is going to be right after the patented reptile block string there. So difficult reptile. to punish that final hit too. Reptile slide being in a string just really falsely conditions all of us to thinking we should punish him now because we're used to it being a special move. Yeah. It's just, it's just, you know. It's, it's this, this game in particular has forced me to erase muscle memory that I've built up over the years of Mortal Kombat. Just like, oh, everything that I knew is a lie now. Yeah, except for one thing, Johnny being top tier, even without force balls, they will make True. it. He'll, they'll, they will make him good at least in some version of the game. Anyway, Ashra and Kun Lao can't go wrong with that pick either. Nobuno up to one. Every game, of course, here in King of the Hill mode, we get to think possibly about a character and or cameo switch cameo switches very viable in this game you can even switch them against an opponent who switches characters what happens i really love that rule um every tournament hopefully follows that same suit but it's all the same for this match yeah for sure here at dns we definitely adhere to the pro competition rules outside of that the best rules. Yeah, yeah, you know, we keep it we keep it consistent. If you're gonna practice for premium competition, then what better way to do it than actually competing by those rules? There's two layers in that force ball, but it doesn't travel the full length of the screen. So Matrix walks back, loses a lot of space to the force ball, but forward throw will build Matrix that space right back. Let's see, moving forward? No. Oh, went for an anti air, but it was actually Reptile Drop, his new secret air teleport. Ooh. Horizontal teleport there from Matrix. Does work out to avoid the slide. Oh, Good aerial oh, combo, no. too. Yeah. Uh, I think we want a flawless block there, maybe. A oh, normal block would have been fine. He's still didn't have the pressure. Both have been fatal blow territory, but Labuno has the breaker. A huge advantage in these circumstances. Um, it's going to take some stray hit. Wow, so much chip blocking all of those. And then one Lao low hat made a kill. If it weren't for those two energy waves worth of chip damage, that low hat would not have killed on its own. Certainly not. How did the down get there so fast? That was crazy. That should have hit. That sword normal didn't work out for Matrix. That's a tournament character down three. Mm. All over the stage. Ops for set play instead of a full combo. And set play didn't pay any dividends in this particular set. Oh, punish there. They had that up block the moment the disappear happened. See, what do you do after this? You know the run's coming, have to respect it. Using the Lao Lohat to seal the block string into the plus block energy there. 
Very interesting here that uh, this is the first time Matrix went for Dark Form on Ash right here. Yeah, feeling, feeling like a demon, I guess. Um, maybe some kind of offensive effort to try and close this out in two rounds. Still has a lot of work to do in this round, but a Fatal Blow combo? Whoa. Uh, not going to happen. It's true, it's true. If Reptile were invisible at ground start, I think he would be the best character in the game. We have to find him. Thankfully, in 2D fighting games, usually the character is very visible on the other side of the screen. Just have to glance left or right. Wow. Back forward four went under Ashra, and still Matrix had the awareness and a strong choice of stand two for the whip punish. Mm -hmm. Let's hold this corner here as well. Or jump in. Force ball doesn't work out here. No! Forgot the low. I didn't think it was going to reach that far either. With maybe a bit of hesitation choosing if they should try to whip punish the string or not. Because all of the hits of the three hits kind of have the same gap between them. You're like, oh, should I swing now? If you hesitate, you get hit. Oh, yeah. Hesitation is your greatest enemy in fighting games. And Matrix, with no hesitation, to close this out. 3-1 over Labuno. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like Labuno is... I saw you on Twitter complaining about the tendonitis building up in your hands playing this character. Why are you doing this to yourself? I'm glad you're doing it for me because I ain't ever. It's the path to victory. I mean, you'll see. We we've seen the glory that just Nasty's achieved. Surely the tendonitis will not kick in before the winnings are paid out on Matcherino here at TNS. Just Nasty's got plenty, plenty more to accomplish. Yes, indeed. Blizzard out here on Baraka with Striker. Seen a ton of Striker lately, especially at UFA. Try to get the stand one interrupt. That's a great call from Blizzard, just a little too early. Yes, yeah, Striker, among the most flexible of the ambush type cameos, the grenades will not just benefit your neutral, but also they're a defensive tool you can use being an ambush. If there's even a one frame gap in the screen, you can summon that Striker and he comes from behind you. So as long as you keep your character in front, those grenades are probably going to go off, and you can hit combo off them on the ground. You can use them as an ambush extend them if you want. You'll see it right here. Actually, the Ooh. grenades were too far. Nonetheless, uh, Blizzard was able to pick up a full combo off Baraka's hopping overhead. A move you don't see very often. Yeah, 4-3 is definitely uh, one of those rare things that we don't get to see too often because it's very unblockable. Not seeing it here quite yet from Just Nasty. Probably getting used to that cadence and not going to get used to the full funky slicers out here from Baraka. But the down back two will definitely succeed to close out the round. Spider-Man? The Spider-Man pose? That's the only pose that smoke players should ever have for uh, mid-round thoughts. Yeah, you, you do get to choose. It's yeah. one, of, one of the nice features of this game. If you want your character to only do one weird thing, that is entirely in your power. Nothing so weird about this just nasty dominance. Blizzard blows away some striker grenades on the other side. Of course, on block, that would have been able to keep him safe on the barrage. Uh, oh my god, a whiff punishing, as you can see. Back forward three, cancel. Using projectile invincibility and picking up a whiff punish in the process is nasty. Oh no! Oh no, no, no. I feel like striker should have gotten his head down two off as well. That was a happy birthday, wasn't it? He, he hit that both was of the two. Absolutely a happy birthday. Yeah. Cool. Um, also, also death day, death day of possibly three for Blizzard. Two more winners bracket tournament lives against Just Nasty, who gets ten respect for the down two brutality finish, which is optimal for the TOs. It does save us time skipping the win poses. I mean, just also the the great speed of the twenty five second one. Mm -hmm. Also, just the great speed of Just Nasty being able to turn around and get that punish there off the aerial spin from Baraka. Yeah, Go full screen we, there. That's pretty quick. Just Nasty definitely prepped for this Baraka Striker team. As we know, Tekken Master was almost uncontested, a, a really dominant showing at UFA with this Baraka Striker team. Uh, a lot of people thought it was only Baraka Cyrax in the past. They thought Cyrax was nerfed and Baraka <laughs> was nerfed. Did you know there's a lot of good ambushes in this game? Yes. Uh, even Striker, Cyrax is still around in some capacity, but in addition to having the grenades, Striker will give you plus on block, overhead low mix, 50-50s, uh, you can cancel into. And the restand is situationally very useful as well. Every character can do something good Stop. with it. Oh. Stop! This that is you like monkey a... booked it just nasty with the invis reset with the back three pickup. And again, we're going back to the invisibility situation. Oh, same side. 
This is playing out like that SpongeBob scene where Patrick gets beat up by nothing or like by the air. He's <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, thankfully, uh, there are two rounds. Patrick only had one life in that episode. That's just most characters in, uh, yeah. in SpongeBob. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Back two whiffs entirely. It's all right, though. Down four. Down back two. We'll get the full punish. And while invisible. This is just unfair. Just nasty. So mean with it. The four four. Yep. The Duck four, that, four, though, too. It goes high, so you should be able to get a punish if you know what's coming. Pumps and grenades. Keeps it going. Just nasty finds a great opportunity. Down one's out. Yes. Being brave. Very important in this matchup. You have to try to interrupt Ooh. the vicious vapors. With a down one here, do not let Smoke get away with it. And Blizzard, not quite finding the pace quite yet, but will continue this pressure. Don't, no, don't give up your offensive pressure that easy, especially against Smoke. You gave that back to opportunity. As soon as he turns invisible, people think they should respect him. But in reality, what you should do when he's invisible is the same way, same thing you would think about doing when fighting something in the dark that you can't see. Um, flail, spin your arms around, lariat, uh, try and hit him. He's going to be moving in on you. No one goes invisible yeah. as smoke or reptile and then chills out and waits for it to expire. You're uh, going to take you... advantage of it and make a move, you know? Yeah. Unless if you lose yourself, because that, that can <laughs> happen. And so it gets a little scrambly because I see some of y'all asking if whether or not you can uh, keep up with smoke while invisible. Like, you can. The, the camera is placed in a particular position for a reason. Yes. But if it gets a little crazy, it, it does get hard to follow. You kind of get used to the pacing of it, your positioning. Sound is also very important. We do know of uh, historically, especially in Mortal Kombat, there are deaf players that do play, or not deaf, excuse me, blind players <laughs> all the way around that do play with sound exclusively, and it helps them tremendously. Uh, we saw that at Street Fighter as well, especially at Evo. There's that big one too, the Honda player. Yeah, Blind Warrior Sven. Mm -hmm. uh, went from Cannon Street Fighter 5 to Honda Street Fighter 6. Uh, Really interesting stuff going on there. Um, accessibility settings and games getting all the better. One thing that, for those of us that are sighted though, um, one tip I do have, cameos will zoom out the camera as well when you're fighting. Um, and so if you're trying to track invisible smoke using camera, you do have to take that into account as well. It's the size of the screen changes rapidly in this game as it often does in versus games. As I, somehow it looks like Baraka's backdash had a forward hurt box there as it got tagged by yeah. Phantom Smoke back three. Very tip of the toe. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, this pressure, like pressure. Very scary. Now in Viz, so it's hard to guess whether it's going to be overhead low. And that's the thing. Like, you can expect a uh, uh, back two because we do see the smoke pop when um, whether it's vicious vapor or if it's a, a back two while uh, smoke is invisible so you can still kind of call out if it's going to be you know the overhead but the problem is when they're invisible they do vicious vapor it might be a low yeah it might be a low and there's really especially when he's just doing the mix-ups on your wake up meeting and you don't have any way of contesting or disrespecting the mix-up mm -hmm. um it's just, it's just incredibly frightening and difficult to deal with um, yeah Ideally, you have one bar and can maybe try and challenge with armor, but Smoke does such high, even meterless high damage that using EX reversals is also a bit scary. The punishes mm -hmm. are going to be catastrophic. Oh, no! Try to go for that stand one interrupt right there to go for the anti-air pickup, which would have been huge. Would have been game for Just Nasty, but Blizzard going to steal the round. Yep. Both of them exhausted all of the resources there, but of course, Cameo started off full. Just Nasty goes right to work putting on some ice armor. Pump fakes. It was the down back the four pump fake fake back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the pump fakes build meter the whole time. Um, yes, you've seen rain backdash cancels with his uh, his stance as well. With a ton of meter. I, I really do like that. Activity is always rewarded in this game. Very different from MK11, <laughs> which had automatically build the meter. Actually, that moment right there was pretty critical. Uh, just nasty was just out of range of the back three. But you can see the conditioning is working out there. That's a nice little confirm for Just Nasty that what they're doing is working very well. Because Blizzard went for that up block. It would have opened them up, but just was a bit too far away. Now that we're invisible, though, absolutely break. Because that would have been close to death. Not quite killing. Well, the Antier will kill here, though. Yeah, no doubt. Going to Sub-Zero. And do whatever you want. Oh, oh just you raw. The youth, Just Nasty. You. Oh. Whoa, wait. 
He was so what? high up. The camera is too high right now. You hung loud, but both of them don't want to deal with projectiles, clearly. But they're very different oriented uh, mindsets when it comes to that cameo pick. It changes drastically how you're going to play your character. I actually uh, missed the cameo selections, and I'm now... Okay, it's Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero. Yes, yep. double okay. sub. It was supposed to be... Oh, Koizy perfect. was going to be on Kung Lao. Uh, either we're practicing or we're running with it before, but double sub here. Double sub. Uh, it's like deterrence theory. You know, you can't go to an ice armor fight without ice armor yourself. You bring the knife to the knife fight, etc., etc. Um, oh... Uh oh, yeah, and Illy Silly actually shut down the. Uh, I missed the little shutdown from Illy Silly to take out the cameo from Koizy, but now we got that back. And it looks like we're just going to return the favor from Koizy. Cold shoulder, the pressure's still Koizy. Actually, should be chilling here. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Worth uh, Sindel combos extend for a long time. Sub Zero allows her to buff herself up and uh, extend off of that front flip move she has in combo. You'll see it pretty common though. Ooh. That nice armor up. Goes for the high and the double hit. Unfortunate. That was just low enough that we could break through that armor. Yeah, the 1 3 screen. Uh, mm -hmm. Break armor real quick. Sindel's cartwheel as well, being two hits. It's an armor move that can break armor itself. So. Pretty situationally useful in that respect. Oh, no. Into it. Yeah, it was supposed to be that uh, with punish right there. Just a little bit too far to get that next confirm after the. Uh, Whoa. Started that earlier. Yeah, punishably droppable combo. Pretty much the worst thing that can happen. The back throw incident. Always he trying to take full advantage of it. Really silly. Uh, yes, back throw to end the combo. I love that choice. My man in the background is throwing a fit right now. <laughs> like, what happened, bro? The Turcottons don't have a lot to be happy about in this game. In Liu Kang's new happy era where Mortal Kombat is fun and colorful and has combos and stuff again, the Turcottons are up late. That Turcotton was screaming like, my junipers! Get away from my junipers! Uh -huh. You know, without the junipers, uh, not going to last a week longer for poor yeah. Turcottons. The Empress, though, that uh, put them in this spot where they all have to live on their own. Possibly a controversial choice. There's two of them here. Fighting for the title of a uh, bash of the year. Ooh. I mean, one one did put them there. One did, realistically, right? You know. Oh, you're right. Depends upon uh, who who is playing the more evil Sindel oh. right now. Let's back throw. Block some patience here. Got the low, but whiffing throw is not going to get punished. I mean, Illy Silly just one touch away, and we're still surviving somehow. I don't think we spent Fatal here. We go for the reset after this. Oh, no. Yeah, we're looking a little iffy right here on these uh, combo routes. Like, I don't think we were expecting for that side swap, and if we were, just kind of mistimed it there to get that final pickup, because I think we wanted to go for the, uh, the um, uppercut pickup after. So we can go to aerial combo in the corner, not side swap, so that's unfortunate. When it comes to the corner situations and uppercuts, there's always some wackiness going on in Mortal Kombat games. Oh, yeah. For some reason, a long time ago, it was hard-coded that if you land a down two on somebody in a juggle state near Same the corner, down. they must fly out to the other side behind you. Uh, some some characters in previous games have taken advantage of that uh, and used it in their routes. I, as I remember, my favorite Gearus combo in the corner from MK11, but... All those combos so outclassed by MK1 Gearus. They gave him all these new crazy tools, playing with time, clocks, stocks, freezing. Maybe we'll see some of him later. For now, of course, it's Sindel, Sindel, sub sub action. SSS, SS. Oh, yeah, triple S play. Yeah. <laughs> it's a quadruple S tier. Sindel, sub, Sindel, sub. Nice. Oh, about to scream. Going to get that reset and snap so we can charge up sub zero faster. Ooh. Fighting on a third hit of the string. Mm -hmm. uh, you do see a lot of one-two stagger from Zendaya, so I understand. Third hit's not so rewarding, nor is it cancelable. Snap. Crackle and pop and just... Oh, no! Early drop. We already had the ground bounce, so we couldn't get another one after. Trying to walk back. Really, Poise has so much space to work with. Oh, yeah. Uh, Floating away. Oh. Is that all? 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, Forward. that's that four walk conditioning too, right? Of just, all right, I, I, I got you. You think you're going to close the gap. You think you're going to, you know, walk me down into the corner, but immediately after I just charge in when you least expect it. That Lush Shaker able to get the kill. Yeah, Lush Shaker is forward one. It's it's nice to have a normal that advances on its own on a forward button, so it's easy yeah. to use after a dash or a micro dash or something. But that's why you'll see Sindel seem like that normal will have even more than anything it actually does. Mm. Tough to whiff punish it. You can, it's just uh, with certain moves, certain characters, but it's just the spacing is so deceptive too, especially on that final hit of the forward one. All right, screen reset too. Yeah, you'll find yourself running into that third hit pretty often. Yeah. Pretty much the most annoying thing that can happen to you. I'm trying to go for the Ooh. fireball war here. Nice aerial pickup. Tons of work for Koizy. I know means impossible. Got the quick charge. Not spending any meter yet, I understand. Ooh. Yeah. I wouldn't spend meter on a round where I have half of a percent left against 80% either. Fight. Going into this one with three bars now is Koizy as a result. Trying to go up 2-0. Yeah. Long snap. Total miss. Jumped into the corner and yeah. corrects the situation with the back throw. Fortunate for Koisi. Oh, oh, whiff throw. Almost got the full punish. Immediate breaker after because that would have been a substantial lead for Koisi. Great positioning too, but the 4-1 gets that whiff punish. And just like I said, off of 4-1, you can get a whiff punish there. And lo and behold, Sindel can punish her own 4-1 with 4-1. Yes, that's often how it goes. The character's best normal is most punishable and exploitable by that mirror match character's best normal. You'll see a lot of stand twos in a Shao mirror. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll see a lot of forward ones in a Sindel mirror. Taking turns with it right now. Mm -hmm. All too far for the screen. Good patience though from Koizy uh, to not walk into that. That's Jinx, you owe me a soda as they both armor up with ice armor. It's gone now. Yeah, at least the so. right. Yeah, you'd think. Uh, oh, one reach pickup off the jump kick. I think that's it. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. yeah, with ten seconds left, I mean, even still, there would be nothing that Illy Silly could do. Like it would have to have been like a a confirmed combo right into the uh, uh, fatal blow. And I missed out on meter, but if Koizy had full meter, that'd have been a wrap. And I think we spent meter here on this combo, anyways, for the kill. Yeah, making sure we can extend into brutality uh, as we center the audience. Um, you know, when you're playing a stream match and it's about to be your third game victory, I think the people want to see a brutal or a fatal. The people, they they do, you know. I speak, I'm comfortable speaking for the people. Yeah, yeah, you know, the, the people definitely want stage fatalities as well, and they will never use them. It's crazy. Are there stage fatals in this game? No, no, not no, in this game. Not. But they they yeah. beg for them. They beg. I see y'all. The people. I don't know. They, I see <laughs> people begging for smoke to have a better mid in the chat. I don't know. Maybe oh. we shouldn't listen to them. All right, that was one person. All right, and then I vocalized it, made it sound pretty, pretty necessary. It's convincing. I understand. You know, it's all good. It's all good. It was you in the chat. I understand. <laughs> Pseudo <-dim>, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think Koizy, yeah, okay. There might have been a little bit of confusion as to what the score was, but uh, it's been rectified as a third game began. <laughs> Koizy miscounted, all good. <laughs> it's it's gotta be six round. <laughs> Serve the queen by entering the corner. Lily Silly on the throne right now. Oh, this is that's probably a side switch, and if not a side switch, just the biggest corner carry possible. Okay, a little here. bit of bolt. Nice pickup. All the way to the other side. I love it. Very <laughs> careful. Yeah, That's I mean, how that much fear life. you put into your opponent. They have to crouch block and you know, keep standing up and down like, I don't know where you're going to hit me. But no, it's coming. Yeah, with both players at two bars, but not breaker, any forward one's going to be devastating and probably decide the round at this point. Whoa! Oh. Third hit forward one out of the air and... Sub Zero is so useful for resetting the combo gravity with that freeze. Wow. Goodbye. Yep. Incredible damage. Worth spending both cameos to put him in a chip situation. Yeah. 
I hope this didn't check Koizy out. You know, sometimes you think the match is already over. You say GG's. And then the opponent gets the momentum that they need because they know you're checked out. <laughs> yeah, don't you don't want to ice yourself like that. Yeah. The false count. I've done that several times in the last year. <laughs> GG's after game still two. Still three out of five, even though I think games last pretty long individually at this point. People are very protective of their life bars. People hold Breaker as soon as they have three bars. It's a powerful deterrent. Uh, in in yeah. any game, the damage is incredibly high. And you start with full cameo, full drive, whatever that resource is. People will be careful, and rounds will extend long. Already yeah. 50 seconds on the clock, and it's just about dead even once again. Yeah, I think that happens over time, at least stateside for games like this, because initially it's so volatile in offense. Like We saw that with Strive, right? And we're seeing it here with MK. And I think a lot of that carried over from just the history of NRS titles usually being first to three anyways. Um, so here, like, just carries over, makes sense. But now we don't have, you know, the crushing blow strings. Like, yeah, the damage routing gets pretty significant, but to your point, like, as we got better, we got a little more defensive here. This scream is definitely going to get punished with three bars. No kill here, no way. Yeah, no kill. It can't be possible, yeah. No, just about a chip situation, but Fatal Blow is there fairly silly. And it, Fatal Blow freezes the stream yeah. too, so it's still seconds. dangerous. Three seconds left. Just oh, to block the whole oh, thing. No. That's all we got to do. You're good to go. Yeah, Sindel, unfortunately, just doesn't have, like, a, an overhead she can immediately combo or cancel off of. Not much right. of a, a mix-up presence. And Sub-Zero is not going to generate any of that. Um, no. That's why I think we've seen a lot of Sindel with Kung Lao. Mm -hmm. Hard to blockables galore, because Sindel can take advantage of her strong knockdowns at the end of combos from yeah. swings or from cartwheel. Yeah, and her terrifying uh, float as well, I think, would have been, like, just the only call out Illy really could have gotten. Enforce a guessing the situation while hovering above, but with five seconds left on the clock at the time, I don't think we had enough time to really float over there and get that type of mix potential. But this big aerial combo does work out. Ellie going to continue the pressure, dropping out a little bit early so that they continue pressing. Willing to throw away the bar, and Sub Zero gets checked on the way in. Mm -hmm. Big loss of cameo for Ellie Silly, but Ellie Silly is still comboing, building Sub back, but wasting time with the life lead. At least Silly's definitely in this. Poison really conditioned themselves. Ice armor deterrence theory. Oh, aerial fireball does work out. Uppercut not going to get punished, but the whiff throw will. And we do have fatal blow opportunity. I, again, I don't think we're spending it here. Just going to go for a reset combo. Yep, save it for a kill situation, mm -hmm. especially as a meterless combo option. Boys, you spent the meter on pressure, so now gonna have to rely on Fatal Blow to secure a killing combo. Ooh, okay, got your sweep with armor set up as well. Oh, we're no, blocking. Or... Oh, oh, just oh, the aerial fireball! Four. That was so gutsy! Yeah, I thought it might extend our hurtbox. Oh, yeah. did you get it? <laughs> well, no! The scream wasn't the right choice! The scream didn't do enough damage immediately to take the life lead for Illy Silly. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. As, as somebody who uh, missed out on the aftermath, I, oh, I didn't no. know that, but now I get it. Now I, yeah, that's cool. yeah, the final battle. Uh, spoilers for MK11, it's too late now. Um, <laughs> the final battle was, no, wow, Liu Kang and Shang Tsung, but you got to choose which one you wanted to play. And I that see. was the ending that you got. Choose your destiny, as they used to say. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, it is a gifted, beautiful Megan Fox modeled character for Aphrodite. It's Tara. And Serena on the backup. Serena very uh, good for offering extended hit confirm options for normals that are not normally so confirmable. Thanks to yes. forward cameo, multiple uh, projectile attack. We'll see it come back. Best way to deal with it, of course, is a low profile and or advancing low profile attack. Uh, you mm -hmm. might see Ludi move down two to the great effect against it. Uh, it depends upon what happens, but Ludi's meter getting drained right now by the Serena portal. Yeah, that's definitely not a good look here for Sindel. Good aerial combo from Aphrodite to close out that first round. With the, you know, down on one bar in the resource game here, so that's a small advantage to get back here for Ludi, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Again, one of these characters uh, that you do need to start up blocking, right? We don't see that too often. A lot of players that kind of lean on how much risk it has, and there there is a ton of risk for doing it, but if your opponent starts getting real stale with these aerial combos, like, or aerial strikes, rather, you definitely got to start calling them out. 
Yeah, knowing how effective that uplocking was going to be against Natara, the devs made sure Natara had an option to hit confirm off of her low sweep back forward. Mm -hmm. um, make sure she can get great punishes against uplock attempts. Uh, maybe you'll see a couple of those if the set goes on. I'll try to pound and point them out for you. I hope I'm paying attention. Alright, nice. The command grab there to finish. Blood sacrifice, but a beautiful jump three here from Ludi. Got the screen reset as well. They're trying right. to keep it cost effective. Lao had added some chunks on. Down one out of oh, the air nice. combo. And that is the end of that round. Ludi secures great corner position. Sindel pops off, announces that she's bored. I don't think Ludi's bored. <laughs> Ludi's having fun. Great time. Nice. Again, that's the spirit. second time that we've seen that uh, anti-air grab there for a full extension after. So be careful. When she's in that hell circle of blood, uh, summoning circle type circle area, what, what's happening? Why is she glowing red? Uh, so she does get... Uh, shoot, I'm trying to remember. It's a little bit of damage boost. She spends five health now uh, to activate it. I so see. Kind of, Instead uh, of what used to be 50 or something, I remember. Yeah, used yeah, it used to be 50. So. Wow. <laughs> they, they made it 10 times better. That's good. The good oh, yeah, yeah. They made it much more useful than they ever did because we almost never saw it. Like, we saw it now and again before that change, but uh, now we see it quite often. Aphrodite with great reads on how Ludi wanted to exit the corner. Mm -hmm. Intercepting in the air for a, a kill combo. Ludi, you're going to have to try and slow down the pace. It's always going to be Sindel from Ludi. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. There are there are some pocket characters, but we've rarely seen them in tournament. Um, I think if it is going to stay Sindel, it's still going to be Kun Lao, even though Ludi was one of the popularizers of Sindel sub. Uh, it's definitely Sindel Kun Lao for that kind of offensive. Oh, sub. As I, as I live and breathe. <laughs> oh, he's, he's making the choice. He actually hesitates. Okay, there he is. Sub-Zero, dress in gray, matching the Sindel. I just, I guess it's to negate Serena assist is why we're switching over to Sub-Zero. I really think that the uh, um, Kung Lao was doing a lot of solid work as Flutie was getting caught so often in aerial situations. Yeah, another thing too, um, the Kung Lao combos aren't as much damage to Ludi. Ludi, maybe not as comfortable. You see he used Ice Armor there. It is definitely situationally re re relevant against the Serena, for example. Meter getting drained. He has to spend so much of it for pressure. It gets a back throw in doing so, but... Sub-Zero's not here to extend the meterless damage, and the screen whiffs in the juggle. We have to call that on misfortune right there. I, I don't like to misuse that word, but that was definitely unfortunate. Yeah, Natara's eaten right now. Ludi back in that left corner. Trying to escape these flesh pits. Recognizing the point blank positioning after the projectile, Ludi found a stray hit of forward one, but wasn't able to confirm it in his scream. The blood sacrifice set up right there, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that blood sacrifice again, a uh, little bit of correction on Maya. It, it, it's the damage over time activator, so she does get those bites while blood sacrifice is on. She does get oh. damage over time for the confirm to hit. I see, I see. Damage over time applied on a character who's already doing 442, one bar, one champion. Pretty unreal. I mean, I'm definitely excited. Oh, I think if Ludi didn't float to stop himself, he might have been able to punish that blood sacrifice. I'm not sure. Um, it looks like he maybe stopped himself poking the Serena, making sure she takes a long time to come back, but Ludi's almost out of life here. Got one. Got the 4 1 punish there, too. And yeah, just barely any health. We could play the zoning game quite a right here, especially with Serena gone right now, but that fastball is going to make it so difficult to try to lock Natara down. Got the armor. Can't even take chip. Ludi got to save the meter for last breath. Yeah. Uh, got that one. Uh, ouch. Well, it's tough to lock Natara down once she gets that full screen and like that massive life advantage here. But yeah, the blood sacrifice definitely gonna. We're seeing a lot of it from Aphrodite. We've seen a lot more of that, like I said, especially after they changed it to that five health. Uh, we'll alter those uh, special moves from Natara, so you get a little bit of extra effect on top of it. So, um, like for example, the um, bloody bolt is like a move that you only get if you are 
Um, if you do have blood sacrifice active on there, so that you can perform that while shooting it mid-screen. So while floating in place, you get that uh, blood projectile. Um, yeah, just enhancing some special abilities there across the board by installing that. Yeah, back to Conlao for Ludi. Uh, Sub-Zero. So with Sub-Zero, you do also gain shoulder as a reversal, but Conlao has spin as a reversal. Conlao low projectile is pretty much just as useful in the zoning war as having ice armor. Um, holding the ground down with La held Lao hat while Sindel shoots in the air is very effective. I I'm glad to see Ludi back on the Kun Lao. Yeah, yeah I, I totally agree. Because that first game, I think we got a lot more success with Kung Lao setups. It makes all the more difficult to try to set up Blood Sacrifice. I think that's probably going to be the game plan going forward. That, okay, I can kind of remove the possibility of Blood Sacrifice so freely from uh, Aphrodite's toolkit here if I keep this available. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the San one anti air from Aphrodite actually interrupted the hard to blockable from Ludi. Only took the hit from the Laohat as a result and is back in this round on Ooh. the back of that great defensive decision. Yeah. Like a throw will kill almost? A throw will certainly kill now if Ludi lands one. It's down to stay stray projectiles. I don't Ooh, blame you here on that one. Laughter. I mean, all that you need is just that one sneeze of a hit. It does take the round there. Yep, and Ludi had tons of room to walk back. Um, a little bit more meter to play with to use EX air projectiles, which are float cancelable, allowing her to continue retreating just in case the opponent makes space. Mm -hmm. in. Great corner carry. Natara corner carry is amazing. That's like solo, and now stealing meter as well, even in the middle of the combo. Yeah, yeah that's a beautiful change that they added for uh, Serena and the latest patch, too. Yeah, it's not just while the opponent's blocking and while they're tangible, even in the middle of a combo. So you can use long combo enders and steal their meter as a result. Ludi maybe just trying to get out of the corner at the end of this round is a Fyrick victory, and Aphrodite is giving him the space. Cool. All right, nice Back. patience there from Ludi. Got the flow, full screen. Switch maybe? Or just going to make space. We'll see. Making the space. Yeah. And doing the damage, primarily. Whoa, they hit we'll on the same frame. frame. Yeah, that's tough. It's, it's supposed to be impossible to block, but instead it's entirely blockable. All right, there we go. Fatal Blow. We'll kill. wrap it yeah, up. No doubt. Absolutely. Wow. Huge comeback from Ludi. And just before Aphrodite got Breaker back, I, yeah. I like Ludi not doing any too long of a combo. Surely mashing for his tournament life right now. And he's extending it to, to my knowledge. Wait, it's oh, not over? No, it's not going to kill. Not going to kill. Ah. No. It was too long. Really? Oh. That was too many hits in the combo for the kill. No. That's so tragic. Oh. It's round one for Aphrodite, so... Oh my god! Oh. Ooh! Forward one, brutal. Hit both the Cameo and Natara for the happy birthday. Down goes Serena, down goes Natara. Up goes Ludi by one game against Aphrodite's two, trying to get back in this. I was going to say it was going to be difficult to win by Chip because Aphrodite had all three bars, and so there was going to be last breath, Chip avoided, last breath, all the different layers of that to go through. Right. Uh, and so Ludi landing a forward one ended up being the killing blow. Landing it instead of relying on chip, which a lot of people will try to do chip and then commit to a special that's maybe not so safe or a cameo move that's not safe. And if, if you miscalculate, it could be death. So I like landing the hit there and close it out. There's nothing really safe after that that Sadel can end into unless if uh, you go for Kong Lao ambush. But like even then, that's tough. Three flawless, just a voice for Chip there. There's that beam after the blood sacrifice install. Yes, and flawless block two denies the opponent their meter gain from their offense mm -hmm. immediately. Uh, pretty passively getting those flawless blocks in there and practicing them while doing so is a great way to get better at this game and make returns out of even the most minute interactions. Yeah, I mean, Flawless Block already had so much reward to begin with. They made it even more so because of that meter change there going into this patch. That's right. Because, I mean, yeah, you avoided chip that way, and now not only do you avoid chip, but you, like you said, remove that meter build opportunity. And it's that same Sindel unfortunate air hit, stray forward one, two hits up top with the scream. I, I think maybe if Ludi can recognize those two hits in the future and start canceling to Kun Lao spin forward cameo, oh. that will pick up the combo and not result in a possibly punishable combo drop. Aphrodite missed it that time. That's air down nice. one. Another two pick up. 
Big three damage. huge amounts of damage here. Got screen reset as well. Yeah, it'll be impressive to see if Luby can make that adjustment. Does get the punish on the Serena summon. Beautiful block on the get up attack from Aphrodite. One touch away. With 10 seconds Aphrodite. of the block, actually, wait a minute. If we could just survive this onslaught, nice up block. That was your opportunity, though. Oh, the damage you're good, is adding you're good, you're good, up. You're good, you're good, She's you're gaining good, life. You're good. She's gaining life. Wow. She, okay, okay. The vampirism I thought was going to make a difference there. Ludi won by about four, 40 points of life. Yeah. 4%. Very close. Holding the Kun Lao hat, making sure Aphrodite lands on it. Great decision from Ludi. Aphrodite returns to mid screen at the end of this combo. Oh, a big whiff and punishable oh. drop. Wow. That's not so fortunate. Nice. Got the aerial fireball. Watch out. Dive kick does get the pickup with the low hat. Knows the spew is coming there. Yeah, Ludi's made that adjustment and recognized you've done that one too many times. Thank you, third hit of forward one, for anti-airing for me when I just meant <laughs> to control the ground in front of me. That's what Sindel players say every single time that happens. Every time. Nice. And just like that two rounds straight, Ludi's best game yet was game four, including a brutal, saving us some time as we go into game five. Not even our first game five of the night, I don't think, right? There Was, was there another one earlier? I hope back. we get a lot of these as the night goes on. I'm not trying to test your memory. Let's let's avoid the quizzes. No, I, I'm just looking at the board. Actually, there has been no game five, even off stream. <laughs> like, uh, okay. You know what? Each other. Okay, okay. Oh, no, game I'm wrong. Five. Run. Shuleta and Steven did a uh, game five, but that was off stream. We didn't get to see that. I see, I see. Game five's situations, definitely less common earlier in the bracket, but this is winners, and they're probably on like winners round three or four, and TNS is filled with killers. You don't have very many times opportunities for warm-up matches as it goes. Damn, that line is fire. Sindel's so cool in this game. Everyone's so nice and so cool in this game. Like, people used to just be... Like, even Quan Chi and Shang, like, yeah, they're evil, but like... They're having a good time. Yeah, they're just yeah. having a ball, you know? Yeah. Everyone wants to fight in this universe. It's their goal. Liu Kang made ever, gave everyone the opportunity to be happy. All the mortals' job is is to well, finish it. Everyone, except for Shang Tsung. He said, I hope Shang Tsung is miserable. I want his life to be meaningless, is what he said. Meaningless snake oil salesman trying to just make a quick play. rude, honestly really my favorite occupation in history. Aphrodite going pretty high up there. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing game. to think that even against a character with air movement like Natara, Ludi still defaults to the zoning approach. Basically at like 85% screen for most of the beginning of this round, but as soon as Aphrodite finds an interception, mm -hmm. it is a 46% oh yeah, Dangerous was... damage. Oh! Yeah, Get see how many times had Moody been punished by that anti-air pickup too, but we got the full screen. We do have Fatal Blow if you want to close it, and there, is that... Hold it's going to be a chip situation oh, after, I think. <laughs> I think it's a chip situation. It's not a highly scaled route, oh, but yeah. uh, there it goes. it's just... Yeah, there is, yeah. But again, it's round one, so chip is easier to achieve, and Ludi has bar to extend block strings. Oh, the Lao hats. One Kun Lao got hit. Ludi took damage on his Kun Lao there. Oh, it was the Kun Lao finished again, Aphrodite, with the Kun Lao pick themselves. Brilliant. Yeah, Aphrodite themselves on been, set point. Aphrodite has been getting a lot of these early grabs of Kung Lao, and that's been opening up Ludi so much. That's what made that 46% combo possible, was the fact that Kung Lao pulled the trigger first and got the hit. Dive kick was a huge, massive, significant whiff punish against Ludi, whiffing forward one with Sindel. That's his bread and butter go-to normal. You don't want to be discouraged from using it. Down one. Got the interrupt even Aphrodite is so difficult to track. Erratic movements, untouchable. Ludi down on cameo, at least has three bars. That's oh down one anti-air, but no combo. Mm -hmm. Cartwheel does come through. There's another down one. We take to the skies. Nothing. A moment's hesitation will cost Ludi here. Yeah, sometimes that uh cancel just drops. There's a bug uh for float cancel off forward too that sometimes don't work. Anyway, Ludi gets breaker at the last second. Maybe he was waiting for Aphrodite to spend bar, but it's anti-air up into the air. That same interaction closed out game one, I believe, and it closes yep. out the set two for Aphrodite. Finds a brutal at the end as well. Impressive three two victory. It's, I mean, it's like it would be critical art if this game had the level three equivalent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but it just doesn't. It, it's a level three unlocked at thirty percent, like the critical art. Hey, Striker Shao. We were just talking about him. Yeah, Steven. 
Yeah. Up against Poison. Sindel Kun Lao, once, once more, a popular team for the stream today. It seems yes. like we're trying to manufacture some kind of Sindel rivalry. I don't know. I mean, hey, it would, it, that, that's the first week of TNS, and then several TNSs after Sindel mirrors happen. Um, this is a top eight qualifier, actually. Ooh, oh, Steven right, went right. through uh, Shaletta earlier, which was that first uh, uh, first to five experience that we got, that game five uh, set that we didn't get to see. And then Steven took down Snowman as well to make it to this position here, all on winner's side. Yep, I'm sure Steven used some striker restand 50-50s in the process. You see, he put the axe down, went for his back 3-2. That's the strike, um, that's Chow's low string, but mm -hmm. equally available is forward 2 for an overhead. And with axeless, Ooh. it's a safe unlock overhead. Oh, wow. She you get to hold forward and switch sides when you end with a... What? How is that allowed? <laughs> Koizy just chose post-round to switch sides after the last hit. That, okay, the okay. No. villainry shenanigans <laughs> I've ever seen. So I will hover over here. Who, who do you think you are? Kang the Destroyer? I, I'm like, is this is this one of those games like KI where you can move between rounds? Like, what is going on? Surely held forward that whole time. Anyway... Steven struggling to get in right now. I've been here. Um, I've, I've, I've played this matchup in particular. One of Steven's first choices was to wake up with EX Devastator. That's Xiao's down back three. It's so good against Sindel's trying to set up Kun Lao hard to blockables with float because Xiao gets a full combo off EX Devastator as a reversal as long as it's not hitting against armor. There's plus on block armor as well. The advantage of standing right next to Shao's axe, he gets access to his command grab and a plus on block attack that's possibly armored. Um, both of them armored on EX. Yeah, this is just a nightmare scenario to be against Shao. I've been here one too many times against Shao. <laughs> yep. I, I don't like it. It's Great a choice. Yeah, also, you know, a lot of strange... Uh, I've heard some strange recommendations that Shao should always have access to the like, axe pickup moves and they should teleport him so he could get his armor from anywhere. Craziness, okay? That axe is so big on the screen, he will borderline teleport in order to do down back one of the command grabs. And cornering somebody with the axe guarantees that it's always going to be where you need it. So mm -hmm. let's let the character be at his most rewarding the corner, like most fighting game characters are. Anyway, trying to maintain the corner is Steven using Breaker to do so, putting Poise back in their place. Monkey, we're going to have to ask that you stop making sense at least once in the stream, please. Thank you. All right, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll say something crazy by the end of this set, at least once. Striker gets hit, but uh, actually, still, Koizu got hit out of float by Striker. Mm. A little bit of a trade with just the cameo. No cancel on one, two. That would have been the end of it. Oh, no. Well, Xiao's got a lot of life. Uh, even though Striker reduces it, I think he's alive here. And maybe only because of his extra life, I think. Yeah, that might only be. Uh, I don't know. I'm mad for my life on this one here. Uh, uh, he's alive. Okay, yeah, we're he's good, alive. we're good, we're good, we're good. Because of his extra life. As oh, the full screen striker. Wait, what do you wait. do? <laughs> the chip. Duck, duck, duck. Oh, oh my God. No. no. Tried to get the three stand right there too, and just too little, too late. The striker oh. would have chipped out from full screen, and he's right behind you. He sneaks up at its fastest from full screen, like an Axel Strive command grab, if anyone has played that game. Everyone's frozen. No, not like this. It's all right. <laughs> you got the no, how could the stream freeze? It was such a hope moment. That's your internet. It's fine for me. It we're, it's just fine for me. Yeah, that's on you, chat. Try keeping up next time. God. I didn't even have to refresh. I just so, had for those it of you, for those of you that missed what happened, Steven was trapped full screen against Sindel. Uh, what is typically a pretty perilous situation for Shao, due to him having only a 40 frame projectile and uh, not much in the way of like uh, instantly mobile tools to compensate. Chow used, uh, Steven used Striker's restand command grab and caught Koizy from full screen, tried to set up a chip situation using the 40 frame projectile after, and it just didn't work. Koizy stayed in the air, avoided the ground pounds, and eventually found a uh, full screen hit. Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> did that no, capture state did not work? That, that was a complete miss of an animation. Yeah. Something was supposed to lock into place there. Anyway, here's an overhead combo. That's I'm cashing tragic. out. Yeah, so you'll see Xiao players who have great rhythm maximize the time they spend in Axeless while still managing to end with Axe Command Grab at the end of powerful combos. 
Uh, Axe can air grab also lets you choose your side. So back into the corner, Steven puts Koizy. Even with a meter lead, oh, grenades covered by, or grenades covering the Axe swing. Jeez, this down game is absolutely insane. Good conversion mm -hmm. off the low head pickup. Um, Sindel using Scream can always like take stray air hits and stabilize the route. And I, I think that's super advantageous in this game. Not many characters will be able to do that. I think she's really the only one who will be re-grounding you like that. The scream is so strong. I try to get take advantage of the situation with a grenade toss there. Steven finally getting out here with this nice reversal. We'll get that side swap closer to the yep. corner. Almost got that win condition that we're looking for here too. Another set of grenades. Keep pressure going, but armor cartwheel has been pretty successful throughout the Sephir Koizy so far. And you see Steven actually knew that time was up on the Axe. So immediately you stand two after recovering on block. And it's the Axe stand two, the much better version. Eight frames, bigger range. Yeah. Very staggerable. So this is Axe stand two, but it's much slower. I love this patience from Steven right now, being able to walk down Sindel, utilizing the cameo for the grenade to get the anti-air. And now you have this advantage, big overhead Ooh. with Fatal oh, right off the Great. rip. Yeah, and it's a very unscaled starter. Sindel's a goner. Uh, Koizy's probably not even mashing here. It's also, uh, yeah, I mean, just so dead. Don't need it. Oh, Jesus. And then the pounce does damage, too. Yep, don't forget that. Yeah, <laughs> an extra 4% there. Good use of Fatal Blow, and with Shao, you don't have as many situations where you can feasibly land it as other characters, so ending round one with it and saving yourself some super meter is great, especially when nothing else would have killed. Get the grenade. Nice. Yo, I love the adjustment from Steven, too. Just honestly, we were getting called up at the low hat. We tried to go for a couple jump ins, couldn't time it quite right. And Steven just said, you know what? Let me hold this. I'll block, yeah. but my boy Striker got me. Steven improperly accounting for the gravity scaling in the combo, though, did stand 2 2 instead of just stand 2 in the command grab. It whiffed, and that was the drop that allowed Koizy to get out of the corner. Poise, recognizing that Steven fell out, did the last hit of the forward one string, making sure that Steven would wake up into something, at least. All right, nice jump in, does work out. We're close enough to avoid the Kung Lao hat and jump back on the grenades. Good call from Koizy, but you gave up so much ground. Oh, oh it does whip. That's a full punish from Koizy. We could kill you. No! And the breaker is coming, Striker yeah. on his way back. Russian. Really tough to get in against. Oh my god, almost found the whip punish with Stan 2. Yeah. The axe is down. And the Koizy was just about out of space over in Sindel's Empress Throne corner, but Koizy had just enough life and tenacity to uh, snipe Steven on the way in with some hair normals. I think it was maybe a, what was that, back four? I don't it was remember. A back four, yeah. Yeah, sweep, love it. Uh, Koizy goes up too, but Steven is getting closer and closer. I'm really enjoying the set as it goes on. Yeah. Holding the line at, the, you know, right at the throne too. The yeah, like I shall said, not fall Sindel's very, when Sindel is in the left corner, she actually gets a buff yeah. because her daughters are watching and her throne is nearby, radiating Empress energy. Snapping. Yeah, you wonder where the totems went? They're all in the throne. Yeah, Rayless FUC, 100%. The score is not telling the story of this set yet, but maybe in the future it will. It's not over yet. Two rounds to go for Poise and six round Ws for Steven to, to win this. But that's a full combo right out of the air. Thankfully, the striker grenades whiffed and a restand. Let's see it. Goes overhead this time. Yep. Got a little crazy with the aerial movement there to get the falling three. Falling down, yeah, with the jump three. Mm -hmm. Oof, look for an air to air, but Sindel was on the other side. And that fireball actually hit Striker there, so that's a positive situation for Koizy. Dive kick does work out. Nice stuff. Staggered it just enough so that the low hat would help extend the combo too for Koizy. It's so difficult to get in on Sindel Lao when there's a Lao hat being held. Your typical way of getting in is, of course, uh, walk and block, duck and block, micro dash, duck to get under all of these projectiles that just aren't. Oh, stand two! Perfect read on Koizy coming in with jump three, falling jump three, which is what previously hit Steven in this round. Steven can now kill with a fatal blow combo. Oh, just up oh. in your face. Holding block, Whoa, there's a whip. need to finish here. That's it. Yes, you love to see it. It just barely combos, but thankfully it does. And uh, Steven takes the round with fatal blow. Once again, um, 
It's the stand two interrupts. Uh, the first one was an kind of like an anti-air type deal while Sindel was falling with jump three. And the second one was a stray hit. Eight frames, big range, confirmable, can't go wrong. Of course, the armor version, when it goes through something, you cannot combo. Fair and balanced. Link off the grenades. Ooh, top two. Meterless pickup off air projectile into forward one. Solid 27. Two piece from full screen. Maybe going to see a restand as an anti zoning tool here. Mm -hmm. Steven's taking a lot of damage on the way in. Even taking some chip. Oh! Tried to cover the Devastator with grenades, but it is simply too punishable and the striker was too late. The snap charge here wants to build up that Kung Lao even faster than it already comes back. Alright, it has that charge. Yeah, unfortunate. Expecting it to launch a little bit sooner than it did. And we're just going to try to chip away here. 15 health left. Air to air will work out. The moment a Lao Hat is on the ground, I think the best thing you hope for is for the Sindel to keep holding the Lao Hat so at least the cameo <laughs> bar goes away as much as possible. Right. Waiting for it. And of course, the demoralizing damage and combos from Sindel. Here's another one right off the air to air, pretty much unscaled. Steven breaks. Built, Breaker builds a lot of space out of the corner, and Koizzi's using the space now. Back. Oh my god, somehow not anti air from point blank on that falling jump three from float. Woo! You ran into the grenades. It's your own fault. Yes, but out of meter, Steven yeah. can't do much with it. Nice, another grenade. Saves the day here for Steven. That would have been fire. a full combo from Kovi, but for how, or Koisi, excuse me, but for how long? Because we are still, oh, jumped over both, but the striker got hit. That's the end of the set right there. Striker went down at the same time as Xiao and Steven too, Koisi. For the class oh, or any yeah, of theirs, yeah. the Europeans always come here. Yeah, um, it's uh, so. it's something I'd like to see more of. Of course, uh, just as much, just as strong competition out there as there is over here. But Pulse going for smoke with Frost, and this totally is a combination different. that yeah, I I've been a fan of for a little bit too, because Frost utilization with that ice ball forces decisions out of the opponent that they might not want to be putting themselves into, especially against smoke. Uh, and plus that low ice, also huge. So I'm very curious to see what Pulse brings to this table because like you said, Johnny, usually what we see from Pulse. I mean, last week, Pulse took that fifth place position here. Yeah, and was that with the Johnny back then? I mean, that's yeah. the same setup that um, right. just Nasty is able to do with the freeze from Sub-Zero and Frost is basically just a more aggressive version. Right. Her freeze isn't quite as long as subs, but it usually just does not need to be and it offers that same grounded hit confirm potential. Uh, other things that Frost gets over sub, uh, you, that slow traveling ball for possible yeah. combos of throws and other overheads. It has a lot of startup, but with the proper knockdown and a lot of advantage. That's one of them right there with the proper knockdown. Did I say combo off throw earlier? You did. You did. Yeah, okay. That you And that's the big thing that I was talking about at the top of just really highlighting Frost. Like these two in tandem are just absolutely terrified because see that ice ball is still coming. Goes for that break because we can't even see smoke right now. You know Smoke what? the answer I think... to Melina? I don't know about all that, but uh, look, uh, Pulse is making you feel that way. That seems like a good call. No answer is determined one round at a time, is all yeah. I'll say. But that was exciting. And uh, I am especially excited to see how powerful the Smoke Frost team is on the PC version, where the Frost Ball sometimes disappears and turns invisible. What if Smoke and Frost Ball are invisible at the same time? That thing's following you, you can't see it. Smoke's on your ass, you can't see him. What you do? Uh, pray. Stand Play, three, yeah. got the full combo, immediate spend for Fatal Blow just to seal the deal. This team rocks. Yes, now, I while we it. see Frost on the screen, uh, let's talk more about her. So, neutral cameo is a plus four on block attack that with a lot of pushback. Uh, you can cancel into it just to make some of your strings more advantageous or much safer than they typically would be. And if you hold it down, it's like a trident's rush worth of chip on a slower attack where she stabs multiple times. Mm -hmm. And that attack goes about three-fourths of the screen, so you can use it as a poor man's projectile. But Frost is physically striking with it, so it uh, will not be susceptible to things like projectile parries or projectile immunity. Um, good way to maybe apply chip and close out a round. That's uh, just about the gist of the Frost cameo, but... The one thing you lack is no invincible reversal. Sub-Zero gives you that on shoulder. That thing's pretty nice as a reversal. 
since when, though, will you see a smoke player wanting to be more defensive? I mean, to me, the character is always offensive, and so so Frost yeah. giving you the freeze synergy for Smoke's Rouse and all those other offensive tools. I mean, I see huge potential here. I think Pulse is onto something. I've never even thought of this. Yeah, yeah. Bro, see, look. A smoke players have a full arsenal of uh, of cameos to choose from, kind of on the style, and you hit the nail on the head. Cool. Like, you want to be super aggressive. Frost, like day one, was like one of those cameos that, like, yeah, this could be a really good cameo pick. Just depends upon the style you want. That ice oh ball, again going to be so terrifying to deal with because you have to worry about vicious vapor pressure. Then you have to worry about trying to block the ball correctly. But you could, of course, gonna... just stay crouch blocking. But if you get too comfortable, you get blown up. He's going to combo off the low or overhead options for, as well, but what's especially sickening, he'll combo off throw tech. Like, it doesn't even yep. matter if the throw is successful or not. The, the throw tech won't escape, won't help you escape. Yep. The ball homes in on you, and that's it. Love I mean, it. mostly... Oh, how... whoa, 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 Did you uh, see that? I saw that. We need protection. I don't wait, know. No, 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 wait a minute. We got a hit. What do you mean we need protection? He got hit with overhead. Unblockable protection. I don't know. Some, we, we need help. I saw the hit animation! I saw it! I synced it! Hourglass of Rain neglecting the uh, atrocity that Zero's claiming to have witnessed. Chat, make sure you gaslight Zero with me. Nothing happened. The game continues. Hourglass of Rain in the court. There's that plus four. An hourglass of rain front of the side switch, maybe? Nope. Pretty much comfortably back on the screen. There it is. Ball roll is the side switch in Mortal Kombat history. Teleport option, too. Man, Melina can just choose your route. She can choose where she wants to be so effectively with these combos. And this is without any, like, Scorpion cameo or Jax or any kind of crazy combo extender. Like, this is just the character raw on her own. Yes, yes. That's what's All always combo been... Damage. That's what's is... always been terrifying about Melina, too, is how explosive she can be. Just out of nowhere. Like, all right, cool. I got the confirm. And I'm going to just explode. This is the most common Melina team I've seen. Melina Lau. Yeah. Um, she also has overheads in string on her 1-2. I, I don't know the third hits input. Maybe 1-2, one, 1 plus 3. I don't know. It's like a hop thing. Um, uh, anyone... Pretty much everybody has, like, something they gain a lot from using Lao Hat in regard to a string. Like, nobody is so lacking in, in string mix-ups that a Lao Low Hat in there is not going to be very useful. But Melina, certainly among the most useful. There's that one, two, one. You can tell what every normal is based upon which arm or which leg they use when they do it. Front kick is the one that's in front of the screen. Back kick is the back leg. Anyway, combo video. Uh, is this NRS button checks? My God, this is gonna kill on the last hit. No, 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 no. All right, there it is. There it is. Got the chip. That's a perfect. Interesting. So you can. Sorry, uh, call me. You see, it was uh, in chat. Just let us know about the Omni Man's four two time with Lao's low hat, where the dummy will get hit by the four two, but then. Swap to the block animation of low hat. Interesting. Yeah, that's I think so uh, that's an explanation of maybe the unblockable protection. Um, right. But I wonder, and I'd love to see it. Do, do you still get damage on that four two then? So if the overhead hits first, and you see that hit animation, does that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, you'll hear a hit effect as well, but then the character will immediately be blocking the other thing. It's. Uh, I don't know. There's no way to integrate it smoothly because it's just something that needs to be there to prevent the game from being. Oh, of broken. course, of course, yeah. I just, it, I, it's so weird because I know for sure they have the auto block set up where if they hit at the exact same frame. So it's interesting that it's staggered just enough that the overhead did work out, but then the low is like, actually, that was too close. Ooh. I'm blocked. Well, I love that move from you. Frost. That's her forward cameo. It, of course, freezes them and has about 80% of the screen range. Sub-Zero's freeze does not have that range. No. Frost has this anti-zoning tool built in and huge reward off of it. Uh, less than a throw's worth away from death here. And that means stray hits will kill for, uh, for Pulse as well. Frost takes the hit for Pulse. Very clutch of her. Let's set down one. We could just keep stacking pressure. Or, excuse me. Block certain pressure. We definitely take that risk out here. One forward cameo, frost, ice slide, freeze thing at a time. That round was taken for pulse. 
I mean, it's such a... a... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say, it was, uh, it's such a punishable cameo, too, because you're still stuck out there after blocking that low ice. So if you're quick enough on the draw, like, you can close that gap. Especially Melina, she does have the roll that will close, get that full punish after. Yeah, I was going to recommend the roll for any kind of long-range punish from any kind of spacing situation. Trying to advance with forward one. Ooh, pulls backdashed away from the stand one, but didn't want to whip punish because Melina's strings immediately move into their next hit so quickly and respecting the low hat the whole time. Yep. Overhead came after. Hourglass of Rain goes up 2-1. These are fast games, but a close set nonetheless happening fast. One lead for Hourglass, of course. Uh, always give it a strong run in TNS brackets. Hourglass doing well in the Coliseum week to week as well. I've seen Hourglass yeah. win that maybe two or three times in a row. I think it bodes well to have Rain in your name when you're in a tournament run by <laughs> Mr. Aquaman, who also plays Rain. Something you might have seen there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They just uh. They just had their top eight finals, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm sure it was really Paul exciting. I, I watch those matches every week, but I, I um, have not been keeping up with the points to, to memory. There's so many things with points right now. Sorry, but, but I would not yeah. be upset if you didn't have it in your brain by memory. <laughs> like what? Right, right, right. You know what? Uh, the only Ooh, points that matter to me is the huge total of points on this combo from Alina. Hourglass of Rain making it hurt, setting up a pseudo unblockable. Overhead came first. Ball roll with punish. Set that, point now for Hourglass. So someone asked earlier if uh, you could pay attention to the sound cues on, um, on Smoke. And sure, you can pick up on sound cues, but it's a safe bet to go for up block. Just hold up block during a Smoke block string. And even if Smoke doesn't go overhead, you're going to be, like, fine. Because he doesn't have any other low outside of if he follows up with the uh, the back 3-2 into uh No, not the back 3-2. Yeah, the back 3-2 into the full string will go low at the end. I see, I see. But it's an unrewarding low. Uh, yeah. We're totally balanced and useful still, but uh, not the end of the world. Uh, how do I anti-air when there's a Lao hat coming low at my ankles? I'll, I just took a whole jump in's worth of damage because of the Lao hat, the secret jump in itself. And that's Rain's best round yet into a brutal stylish finish. Down goes Paul Smoke. Nonetheless, I'm a, you know. I'm just like, yeah, I'm here for the ride. That's, uh, that's about all I got. Yo, I think there's only two characters in this game today. Um, Smoke and Sindel. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but... We have seen a lot of them, and partially because of these two players. This is our third Koizy match on stream, I believe, and our second Just Nasty match. Both have managed to stay in winners. It's winner's top eight. Winner will be winner's finals. Yeah. Is that Shujinko? Who is that? Is that is Shujinko. <laughs> and I don't know why you have Shujinko. I've never seen him picked before. I didn't know what his icon looked like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him picked. I just... I guess you want to steal the invisibility move, and I don't. Is I this can't a flex? I, I don't know. Why. We need to just be humble. Yeah. Cast no doubt and try to learn. Fighting game players, if this is our job. Commentators have to adapt too. I just w it, like yeah, you get the vicious vapor invisibility setups as well. But it, it's working because just nasty ain't approaching, but just nasty has life lead, <laughs> so does not have to engage with this. Is invisibility useful on a zoning character who's just going to be trying to get away and use space and throw air projectiles that reveal her position anyway? I, I am flabbergasted, you know? Just... Does, okay, you know how Sindel has that little purple float below her heels right. when she's floating in the ankles? Like, is that purple streak still there when she floats while invisible? That, that, that would should, be a dead boy. That should show up because if Vicious Vapor and Back 2 still shows up for smoke, surely... Her flotation device does show up still while invisible. Yeah, you'll be smoked out. I'll smoke you. Oh, okay, Spider-Man, relax. Bring back MK9 smoke. <laughs> oh, that was the voice actor <laughs> with the wispy yeah, the hair. Thing. Yeah, 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 dude. They'll, they'll, they'll put the anime hair back in uh, eventually. Okay, um, so she got comboed while invisible. No, no problem there. It's. 
ideally, when you're landing a combo, it's all muscle memory. You don't have to look at the opponent anyway. Mm -hmm. Kind of take your time to look at the resources. Escape failed. Yeah, wise to try and tech backwards. Uh, Koizy does Whoa! not want to be towards the corner. That was a tight window to try to get that pick up. The 4-1 would not have worked out there. That is such a good low that you don't need to miss. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the range on down back one. Where'd she go? Oh, okay. Well, the teleport <laughs> smoke two. homes in on anyway. Oh, nice air to air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the air strings have this magnetic pull effect where even if you land them jumping backwards, your character will move forward to True. continue the combo from there. Um, and that's something you can use to set up side switch combos off of a lot of launchers. Kun Lao players, uh, I mean, cameo Kun Lao players, take note. You can combo into spin forward dash jump you'll be on the other side do an air string suddenly you have a side switch combo i've never i haven't seen anyone do this i'm sorry i, I have to point that out I, surely we're not doing it again though. that's what i thought okay yeah, yeah. had to Shoo. be a mistake on the first pick because look kung lao is right next to shinjunko uh, like, i understand yeah well i mean it was pretty good shujinko knowledge sindel did manage to turn invisible and who knows yeah. what direction of shujinko creates that Anyway, familiar portraits on the screen. That's all he has, now. really. It's like he charges, <laughs> and then he does that. Hey, did you know he also has half of a fatal blow? He can do uh, the first half of a fatal blow. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. He's got that, too. Yeah, all of his stuff is um, to charge. He does get the copycat and uh, the, the mimic. Oh, okay. But otherwise, it's to charge him back up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there in the air, menacingly. Fully confirmed from just nasty. It's actually optimal to have the second hit of the stand through kick whiff, because otherwise there's too much gravity in the combo. And you see yeah. just nasty right every time. Yeah, just nasty has been doing that like off the rip. Um, that's one thing that I always wonder because like for sure you get that uh, better gravity scaling. You miss out on a little bit of damage, but it's negligible to um, compared yeah. to what you're already going to get anyways if you follow through. Keeping the route stable is more important. We should always be doing tournament combos in tournament. Um, I stand by that 100%. Oof. Nothing in the way of the air hit pickup. Kind of a unpredictable hit. When people get hit out of the start of a jump by like a second hit of a string, very difficult to react and confirm. There's forward four. Plus one. Into the seven framer. The Sub-Zero slide is about neutral on block from point blank. It can be advantageous from further away. Oh, teleport is a whiff punish. And with one second left, there wasn't going to be a punish on the teleport anyway. There was no way for Koizy to win outside mm -hmm. of Fatal Blow, really. So that'll do it. Yeah, Fluffy, you can jab smoke out of everything. Everyone can be jabbed out of everything so long as uh, you're brave. not actually getting hit. Yeah, <laughs> You got to be brave. I'm going to put that on a shirt or something. Be brave. I I'll, think that I'll was another. That was another simultaneous low overhead. Uh, the Sindel player's got to get better at making the setups not truly unblockable. Yeah. You got freestyling that Lao hat timing can be hard, I guess. Yeah. The the armor's on, even in the corner from point blank. Who knows why? The armor is also invisible. What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you have ice armor and you're invisible. Is the ice armor still there, and can you walk through projectiles? <laughs> you must yes. be able to, right? Yes, you can. That's so sick. But you can't see when it's gone. I mean, that's the, the downside. Yeah. Actually, no, I think you, you do see when it falls off. It's weird. You think there's, like, a particle? I mean, we have so much to learn about these invisibility interactions. See no, I'm pretty it? sure yeah. there... Because there's particle for everything else. I'm almost certain, but I've not seen... No, actually, there's not. Yeah, there's no particle item. He ran out of it, so, yeah. Yeah, just disappears like that. Wow. Invisibility's pretty good. Ah! Oh, good that down goes Poison. Two games straight for just nasty. Brutal? Always a brutal here. No, never mind. Yeah, and I'm glad, too, you brought up the uh, the stand three. Like, if you whip that second hit of stand three to get that better gravity scaling, because that's the fear. Like, uh, pretty early on, I was definitely out about the smoke being a little more consistent with some of the routings, and especially, too, when um, working with Scorpion, like, that helps for those aerial combos, because that's where so much of just, or not just, but smoke's damage comes from is those aerial routes, especially off of down back four. 
into taking up the sky like uh, with that situation. If you are already hit with a ton of gravity scaling, that second down back four opportunity that we do see very rarely from just nasty because usually it's just the one. Uh, but to get towards that 450 range, that second one does get scaled down so heavy that you don't get to finish it. So you do need to be careful on some of these routes with uh, with smoke for sure. Tournament combos only and tournament character switch from Koizy on uh, Winner's Bracket Life switches to the other white haired uh, royal seeming uh, divine woman of power. Yes, it's Ashra and Serena accompanying. Uh, we've seen a lot of Ashra Lau already. Uh, it was Matrix earlier playing Ashra Lau to good mm -hmm. effect. Serena will give you much larger meterless damage, not requiring Ooh. to go to the far right away. Um, characters who have launchers for the basis of their combos benefit a lot from having Serena as to add grounded damage before the launcher right. for the pickup and give you meter to build for the launcher. Just Nasty just arrived at three bars, got the breaker in time for what was surely about to be the biggest hit of the match. Got all the hits that time, went to the air to make keep it stable. Oh, nice. Whoa. This is Vapor, but the second one's coming through. I was expecting a single Serena Blade. I think maybe if that back three got canceled in the teleport, maybe, just maybe, oh. he could have not pull. Yeah, you know what, too? Uh, I had that Sub Zero set up there, like, oh, immediately after. Like, we were thinking about it, so that's a great call from just Nasty. The pump fake just to build up a little extra meter confirmed. Down back yeah, four. Yeah, bar here to make a kill, right? Oh. Can we? Yes, yeah. it's so into. Oh yes, yeah. the, <laughs> the meter down. Out. Yeah, the meter down four one is just so like ah uh, maybe it'll get there. I don't know about the last hit. This game has hard coded combo enders that seem to have like a minimum scaling function. Uh, Shao Kahn's axe command grab has a similar effect to the smoke down back one ex, where it will just do so much damage on the ex version as a as a intentional combo ender. No matter what, it won't scale mm. so hard. Kind of like a KI combo ender. Oh, fair, fair. Yeah, I feel you. It's uh, recently received its latest update. Yeah, the game rocks. It's also got the best. It's the best sounding game I've ever played. Oh, jeez, four four cancel. Yeah, didn't want to get punished for that. With cancels, good. I like that. Yeah. Just nasty playing this life lead, playing the clock. Mm -hmm. 44 seconds and has only taken stray hits, no full combos. About to arrive at Breaker, too. poise has got it, too. Where they the caution. Be? Beautiful, flawless block there, but flawless block right at you. Who? Armor. Still not a significant touch. Stray hit out of the air, no confirm either. Just not really available. Off the down three. Last hit low, cancelable. There just isn't enough time. It's already, I mean, there isn't. It's impossible. No, you can't. Yeah, even if you do a fatal blow right now, like your next interaction would have to be perfect. The duck! And the throw got ducked even. Ooh, just nasty wins 3 0. And I guess that's the end for me, too. It's time to turn it off. Yeah. Well, we are going to have to. You're definitely not going to want to turn off your screen here for this one. Dexy up against Hourglass of Rain. I can't believe we haven't seen a single Dexy match all, all night tonight. But uh, yeah, Dexy Dog with the mirror against Hourglass of Rain. Yeah, some players making the sneaky winner's bracket run, uh, but they guarantee themselves a stream of appearance once they hear in winner's top eight. Yes. Dexy, Melina, Serena, rhyming names of the same syllable count. They're meant for each other. They're best friends. Whoo! The long range down one for Melina. It's, it's one of, probably the best down one in the game, I think. Her down one? Oh, whoa, where are you going, Melina? And there's X, you know, just every now and again, Hourglass will send it there with the tilt and tumble from Molina here, and it does work out. It, you, when you least expect it, attacks like that just come through. Although I kind of think of it's like uh, um, Reiko's little uh, double leg takedown. Yeah, attacks that are uh, just long range, uh, well covered, uh, usually really rewarding if you have like an ambush or something. But no ambushes in play for either of these two. You can only use the Kunlao hat kind of like an ambush once you hold it and thereby forego your cameo bar. And uh, very interesting in the projectile game here because now Molina can go low, right? You're trying to close that gap, wait for the Serena assist to kind of, you know, waste its shot and you can still chip away here. 10 seconds left, the whiff throw does work out, but also coming out on top is Hourglass of Rain's Kung Lao because 
Whereas Dexy does have the Serena uh, double pizzas. You just have low hat. So you can duck the whole time and still summon Kung Lao and get that uh, low hat hit. Yep, and you saw low hat covered. Uh, Hourglasses teleport to the other side. Dexy was forced to respect the hat, making an unsafe move completely safe. And that's, like I said, using it like an ambush with a similar utility by using right. the old version. I like to step forward there as the hat came through, trying to make Dexy think that there was an overhead on the way to make a hard to blockable situation. Was hoping for a second low. Mm -hmm. An hourglass of rain with that experience knew the third hit of the string was going to make contact, even though the second hit lifted out of the air and fully comboed his result, picked up another one. Very quick round two yeah. in a quick game one overall from Hourglass of Rain. The Hourglass, it uh, you, you flip it to the its other side, and it seems to end the round in about 35 seconds. Yeah, and Maybe everybody in the Mortal Kombat universe has a beam to cure the Hourglass. It doesn't matter what type of beam, they all have beams. I don't know why. You're reminding me of the actual beam struggle that happened in Mortal Kombat 1 story mode right now. <laughs> Yeah. Gosh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that. Yeah, that happened. It's kind of like the ending of the first Ghostbusters film, you know, where they all take the, the proton packs, they're firing, you know. Is that a Warner Brothers movie? I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe yeah. uh, the Ghostbusters are in the next one, um, and that's where the beam struggle idea came from. No, I, I have no idea. No, I don't but, think uh, it is. But you... It isn't? All right, never mind. I don't know. It's old. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> This costume is so cool. Oh yeah, the Halloween costume that came through. The, the yeah, cannibal costume. Cannibal. Huh? No, it was Columbia Productions there. Yeah, it's Columbia Films. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. Capriche. All the way to the corner. Ending perfectly on the other side with plenty of time to summon the Lao. And... It wasn't actually the Lao that got the hit, but Lao had added a little damage in that combo on the ground it hits. What? Air ball pickup! Ground ball pickup! We play so with ball! Many balls. Hit confirmed, yeah. Playing that round from behind, Hourglass still comes out on top. Basically, got down to 22% and then landed three combos in one. Typically a three touch game, I find this one. Three full touches, anyway. Yeah, generally, like you're hit, sitting in pretty good territory if you're hitting around like that 300 damage mark. Obviously, you know, health variances uh, kind of make it a little bit different, but yeah, three touch game. Some characters do have the two touch game, uh, but yeah. welcome to Tag Fighters. Yeah, that would be, uh, it would be resource intensive. You know, round two or three, you might get a little bit more two touches, I think, mm -hmm. the, as soon as the bar is there. We have to think, Next too, uh, like, with the advent of first hit giving you extra meters, sometimes that helps tremendously. So if you, like, especially in the case of Melina, she can really let rip a good chunk of damage just with, like, one or two bar. Um, definitely more oh, so with two, but the one bar definitely does add quite a bit. That's Turn a good remember, one, zero. Yeah, I, I haven't like, mentioned first hit bonus this whole time, but we should draw, draw attention to it always. It's yeah. so significant. Um, and... Equally significantly, you can achieve the first hit bonus by hitting the cameo character, even though it's not much damage and doesn't cause hit stun for the main character. Sniping an assist, if it's the first thing you do, will build give you a full bar of meter. And that's an immediate massive victory in a resource game such as this. Yes, yes indeed. Especially too with that uh, massive damage from Raiden pre-patch, like getting... <laughs> Getting first hit in uh, the first round was definitely significant because that was a guaranteed 50% plus. It was a two-touch game at that point at round start. Yeah, oh my god. The Raiden and Jax combos. Those were funny. I love them still. They're still fun. Yeah, they're cool. Stab, stab, snip, snip, slice, slice. All the way up to 45%. Yeah. There's the low, the fake jump in there. It's the unanti-airable approach. Low hat covering fire. Flanked on all ends. Making the safe string plus with a delayed low hat release. Oh, of range just... On these momentum streaks, I mean, Dexy's yeah. defense from point blank has been a struggle. The neutral has been, he's been keeping up fine, but they need to find a, a way to more reliably poke out of this pressure. I mean, yeah. so often people will do to you what you're doing to them because they think if you're doing it, it must be effective against you. And I guess 
maybe that could be have something to do with why mirror matches are so difficult to contend against defensively. And you're like, oh, oh my god, is this what this feels like? <laughs> this is what I do to people? Yeah. But, I mean, it's just how relentless Hourglass has been with Molina pressure on the nice early medium right there going for the mids. And then just, you know, backed with Kung Lao. Early drop, a little bit too plus right there. Tried to go for the throw. Let's see how much damage the Serena adds to this. Off that grounded start. Solid. Yeah, the bar is burning there. 45%. Bro will do it. That's it. Nice. Even keeping Hourglass in the corner. Big W for Dexy, and it's coming just in time. Surviving the first match point so far. Chat, we do only have two more codes in the match arena. I see y'all utilizing it. Thank you so very much. Yeah, those will those will be done by the time this set is over. Especially if Dexy takes this game. Currently contending with a bit of a meter deficit, bit of a life deficit, but anything can happen. Biggest issue right now is that left wall. Hourglass of Rain knows it, isn't overextending, doesn't want Dexy to get out of the corner, even though Melina's so capable. A single ball roll on hit will get him out. A single teleport on hit. But Dexy has no way to cover Melina's teleports with Serena. Oh, that's pretty much unlockable, but that's okay. Not so much damage. Surviving the stagger, yes, blocking it out. Even dashing in, got a flawless block, and the flawless block creates the punish opportunity. It sometimes changes the frame data, sometimes not. You have to just know. Yeah, it, it helps to change it a little bit there, but sometimes it just does get that interrupt opportunity, especially during like a full string, like if the string is completed. The range on the forward four is huge. Dexy's still in this. Fatal blow conversion will kill. Serena will provide it. Hourglass has no breaker. 19 seconds on the clock and dead even. Oh, oh, oh yeah, unless you teleport. Oh, it does! Oh. We tried to get out of there, but this should be killing for Dexy to take a game. And I mean, great patience uh, and mental endurance from Dexy for sure, because Hourglass was definitely willing to sit that full screen, duck through this fireball game, take up all the time in the world, and a lesser player would have mentally broken and just tried to rush uh, towards the opponent to try to close out, to try to get the bigger confirms. And Dexy taking their time does pay off. Anti-air fatal blow is a super aware play. I do think Hourglass tried to use Molina Air Teleport yeah. to get away from it, but yeah, it there just isn't enough time. Uh, yeah. Looks like the Molina Fatal Blow started up pretty fast. And of course, also breaks armor, so no matter what, um, if you're not blocking, it's gonna it's gonna hit you. I like how one of the Molinas is just absolutely suffering, and the other is so happy to be torturing her. The way they canonize mirror matches with intro dialogue has always been fun in LRS. You'll get like two jokers in Injustice 2 just yucking it up, telling jokes and having fun. Right. Yeah. Which I mean, like, because really even across both games, like, it is definitely the cross timelines, you know? Because yeah, Injustice yeah, 2 is that. That's, that's what it, they can, that's how they explain away their mirror matches. So, cross timelines. Since. They have all, yeah, the MKX trailer, no, the MK11 trailer had mirror matches in it. You're like, this must be some timeline thing, right? And of course it is. Because timelines weren't a thing until, yeah, until 11, because 9 and 10 were just one continuous timeline. Did you know the word timeline is said 49 times in the MK1 story mode? No. Well, why do you know that? I counted. <laughs> I, I, uh,. I, I knew they were going to say it a lot, so I started counting. So oh my god. Times. It's really so much, especially the last four chapters, they say it like 30 times. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what about yeah, the new era? Did you count how many times Liu Kang said new era? Oh my god, no, I lost count in MK11. I lost count in MK11. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Anyway, 12 seconds. Dexy with a huge lead. Hourglass even spending some bar uh, trying to get back into this round that was pretty well over Dexy looking great coming back into the set from the brink earlier pretty much in their best position they've been mm -hmm. now yeah very comfortable trying to go for the zoning game does work out opened up a little bit too early right there they were right the overhead was right there just didn't stand up in time and that stand one does get a nice little confirm early break from Dexy uh, Fruity, you just cursed it. Congratulations. Uh, dock yourself at least uh, 5,000 points. Ooh. 
air approach plus low hat. Great cover. Oh, the flawless. It's just not going to throw? Yeah, it, it doesn't change the data unless it's like a very specific type of hit. Uh, anyway, walking them down is Dexy. Retreating from low hat though, but it's already coming back. That's the issue with low hat. It's just inevitable. Oh my god, the max range roll! This is a huge chance for Dexy. That's actually crazy. So I just double checked it for the stand one. It'll blow? Curious. Breaker's there. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. The, the stand one is still plus one if it's flawless block. Wow. Dexy couldn't even see where the Lao Lo hat was and just had to believe that they would be in the air long enough to convert with the ball roll and did. Dexy ties it up in the Molina mirror. So one sided earlier and it's Dexy. It's the ball is in Dexy's court now. It's on them okay. to finish this. Yeah, that is. Uh, I wonder what just flipped the switch for Dexy in the set because. Hourglass, complete control, was being relentless on that offensive play. I think Hourglass still really hasn't changed too much. I just think Dexy's now matching pace for pace here and getting away with a bit more of the zoning game a little bit better than they did in the first two games. I just flipped the switch. Flip, 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 flip. That's what Dexy's listening to in headphones while, while playing some Mortal Kombat 1 right now. Just kidding. I like the soundtrack in this game. Blasted. Let me hear every stage. It was a really good soundtrack. Yeah, it's, it's a huge upgrade. Full screen, yeah. When it's game five and uh, winner's finals chance to qualify, you know it's top three payout here at TNS at least. So you're trying to make that third place minimum. You're trying to get added in the tweet later. The roundup, the graphic, all that. Actually, you're all in the graphic already. Yeah, but you want your picture to be the biggest in the graphic. Right. Very significant. Yep. Yeah. It'd be funny if we did switch to that, where the picture got increased in size. Starting with eight, you have the smallest one. You You're start with the visible. Twitch emote size, and yeah, that's they you. Have to, they have to expand the image to see you if you get eight. And committed a ball roll. I, I think a lot of them do stagger. Both Melinda's have been staggering with the one-two string. Mm -hmm. with, or one, um, so I think ball roll, there, there could be an angle for it, but it's yeah. quite a commitment. You probably want to have breaker if you're going to do something like that. You got that flawless Sealing block on the one, two. You're at minus 15, so plenty of opportunity there uh, for a stand one interrupt. That'll do it. Oh yeah, last hit, kill. pretty left. much. Well, back to it. Three bars for Dexy, has to fight out the corner. Not an issue for Melina. How do you get around the hat? Respects it. Forward four knockdown. Just got caught trying to probably jump out of the corner. It was meaty forward two, I believe, from Hourglass. The Hourglass. Right, Terracotta nice. statues. Is That's this? punishable. Oh, is that it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you got uh, it. The Molina combos don't end. Well, Honestly, I think Dominican Republic definitely uh, deserves its time to shine. Like, we get so much mm -hmm. strong competition coming from uh, DR and also uh, uh, Puerto Rico as well. Get another turn. Honestly, we can call Caribbean's... all of Central yeah. America too. Like, uh, yeah. that scene has been killing, and I'd love to see more of them out there. Yeah. Ooh, straight to the pickup. Beautiful. Yeah, Chiquelo still sticking with the Raiden pick and uh, opting for Kano as uh, before it used to just be Cyrax, but you get that Kano ball to get, you know, serve the, pretty much the exact same function. Down 4 2 will absolutely anti air that. Yeah, Kano ball, you can choose exactly when to release it uh, for the greatest individual control of any of the ambushes. Of course, charging it does take a little bit more of the cameo bar, just like a, a Lao hat. But nonetheless, he still has pretty good recovery on the ball. You see, Chiquela like arrives at full cameo bar at the end of this round. Pulse built a lot of meter, getting his ass beat. Spends it now, making it happen. Well, that's good stuff. The other call out for Kano too has uh, that, that beam, also has knives, which helps out too for the projectile game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kano laser, that full screen projectile option that can punish. Electric fly from Raiden, and he so often uses it to escape the corner along with teleport. Ooh. And maybe. 
Um, but obviously, Frost has a full screen slide ice, like ice, um, low ice, but I don't think it's fast enough really to punish Raiden Electric Fly on the other side. It could be worth a look. Maybe Smoke's yeah. Teleport is a better idea because it's faster and also full screen arrives on the other side. Yeah, you probably have to wait for the uh, character flip for that to activate because that's going to be such a tight timing thing for the recovery on Electric Fly because I think you're right. You might be able to reach it. It just depends. Yeah, you don't want to be too early and miss. Yeah. Certainly not. Ooh, oh, Electric yeah, Fly. Yeah, Fly will absolutely punish that, though, especially with armor to back it up. Yep. There were four characters on the screen right there, but only Raiden landed a hit. Same route. Oh no, uh, in invisibility set up. It had some covering fire. Tried to reach with the down three, not gonna do it. Gonna back I up all you want to. If you can manage to press the frost forward cameo the moment Raiden goes over your head, I think you might be able to get a punish. Possible, you have to do yeah. it. You know. But I think you're right. That's a, that's it's so misleading about uh, MK1 in particular. It's just the window for uh, you know punish opportunities or even just being able to get follow-ups on your combos is so tight compared to previous NRS titles. Like, depending Whoa, where'd that the Kano come from? Uh, <laughs> from the Nether Realm. Yeah, it's the Nether Realm, which is, by the way, as far left of the world as you can be, off screen to the left. And Stage the interrupt left. on the back two. Nice. Got a back two of your own for the overhead. 17 seconds on the clock. Mm -hmm. the, not a life lead, so we're going to try to go for chip here, if anything. Yeah, just keep blocking low, because there's nothing that Raiden can really do outside of back two. You're going to have to throw, and that'll do here. That'll be around four. No way. Halt. There's no, nothing can happen. Oh, my God. The absolute confidence Pulse had in blocking it out. Was going to take every overhead all day. Was going to allow himself to be thrown. There was nothing Chikuelo yes. could do. That's you got to remember that sometimes uh, against a rated matchup. Like yeah, especially now that the chip damage has been so uh, reduced for Raiden in this patch, overhead is all that you got to really worry about from Raiden because otherwise it's just going to be regular string pressure. You can, he's relatively safe on most strings. They have to be uh, like his forward two two is definitely not his safest. Like he does lose his turn. You can try to go for the electric cell, but that is minus. It's just difficult to block. Um, yeah, Storm Cell, a mid in this game too, so it's a lot easier yeah. than in past games to jail into it and start doing that heavy chip. Mm -hmm. um, Kano ambushes. As long as Raiden has an ambush, he's going to be good to go. Like that's, yeah. that's what this character will always like. And Kano's got two of them. Two ambushes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, true. That's a, that's a fair point to bring up too. Is a, two ambushes for Kano, knives, uh, that ball. Mm -hmm. I, that was definitely a character I remember during beta was definitely getting a lot of uh, uh, early fear of how that character was going to work out. Like, man, this character we're going to see a lot of and off rip. We did not see too much. I think until... in the beta, he might have been the only cameo that had like an ambush function. I, I did, there just weren't that many ambushes in the beta. So we were getting used right. to that idea. And then he quickly got outshone by the other ones that were new, such right. as Cyrax, Breaker. Sub-Zero made a quick call too after that. Yeah, yeah, he's nasty. Oh, my okay. God, where are you we going? Can play, we can play this runaway game all we want this to as well because of how much health that young Chiquelo has. Okay, maybe try that. Uh, maybe try that frost cameo. I mean, no, it's clearly too slow. I don't know. Air to air this time. Yep. Twenty seconds on the clock. The air to air was not a full combo, and creeping ice is punishable. Huge extension. Chiquelo basically used the threat of laming out. Pulse with the life lead in order to make Pulse overextend and find some damage in the process as Pulse move forward too aggressively. Ooh, gonna get caught by Freeze, but Kano saves the day. Armored Electric Fly here. There's that back Shikoyla. too. Basically, that was like a football game right there. With a, it was like a run play <laughs> in a football game. And Chiquelo was the running back, had armor on the Electric Fly, got some yardage out of the clashes. Huge damage. It's all Chiquelo in this game. Goodbye. 4-2 does follow up with the full finish here. Oh, you Even try to get the brutality. Yeah. That's not going to work out. You try to do the meter burn brutality after the down back two. Or down wow. four two, excuse me. I didn't know that was possible, but this team has a really cool wind pose because they both have glowing cool. particles with lasers mm -hmm. and landing. I like it.
totally the intention, I'm sure, from Yon Chiquelo. Right. One all in the set right now. Ever visit your hometown, Tomas? It's nothing to me but bad memories. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri Lowen. That's the most underselling of lightning I've ever seen, Messenger of Death. I wonder Just how many people... Just doing a startle. Like, no! This so, hurts! Okay. Lightning hurts! What do you mean? It's just a ring you put on. It's just an amulet you you wear and you get that party, you get that power. It's it's all in the costume, as Mermaid Man said one time. It's T Blaze. Thank you so much for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah, your viewers are arriving to losers' quarters here at TNS MK1 number eleven. Oh, ambush knives pick up with the combo and lead to a kill. I, is that the first knives we've seen? <laughs> I think it's been all Kano. No, ball. no, we saw knives before, but I think they got interrupted. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Well, anyway, Ooh. because there's two of them, they're really useful for confirming uh, whether it's a juggle hit or on the ground. You saw right there, Chiquelo actually linked off of the second knife. Hold this. Sell. Flawless block made the whole Ooh. cell do nothing. The stand one did interrupt false whip. No, that's so tragic. We waited just long enough to get that interrupt too from Young Chiquelo. Good stuff. What? So patient for false, even with a huge life deficit, was able to almost block his way into fatal blow territory. I mean, that's at least some saving grace here. Trying to come back into this round. Invisibility to boot and full frost cameo. No setup. Gonna drop the combo. I guess maybe it's harder to land your combos while you're invisible. You can't see what your character's doing. Found a punish, but Kano with the coverage keeps Jaquelo far out of trouble. Even with the knives missing, Jaquelo advances with some chips for the spring, and Falls really had no shot. It's very, two very fast games for Jaquelo, and this one is the brutal. Yes. Look, everyone says just take Raiden's amulet. That's not true. If you played through the story, you know Raiden still got hands. He doesn't need He's, the amulet to be good. Isn't he, his his actually his pre amulet cartwheel special move is like plus four on block and a launcher. Like that's the best special move in MK1, and it's right, just like, exclusively <laughs> available to no amulet Raiden. But don't, don't it breaks like armor Raiden too. Didn't have hands without the the amulet. <laughs> Can you guys give me no amulet Raiden to play as in this game? I want that plus four on block launching armor breaking cartwheel. So you want variations back in MK1, is what you're saying. Yeah, and give, let me get a cameo in there, too. I hate that the story <laughs> mode just kept, kept me having to use a one character, one attack cameo. Like, thanks, hey, Liu Kang. Elemental Lightning was pretty, you know, all right. Elemental Lightning, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> lightning Elemental? Or... <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I remember. Just made a clone of himself? So forget it. That was my BFF, yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, let's confirm with that back three. And look at the significant chunk of damage. We'd be looking at 380 if he didn't break that here. It's a little late to break, don't you think? Uh, yeah, the damage was done. Percent. You were looking at like another 60 damage there after. Yeah. Let's see how Chiquelo does in this round of compensate. I mean, if Chiquelo wins by like 10% life, then it's got to have been worth it. But. Four I fours and sell. A couple shanks for you here with that four throw. What has turned into a comeback might be largely unrelated to the breaker. It's mostly because Pulse cannot get out of this corner. Yeah. For himself, completely sealed by Kano Ball and another throw. This strike throw is devastating. And I like back throw as the choice. Uh, Superbreaker. It's just much less likely to be tacked. Right. Got to stick through these rounds one round at a time. Yeah, especially too, like you've already thrown twice with the four throw. Opponent's probably expecting that. Wants an opportunity to get out of this corner. Yep. Also, even if the back throw doesn't kill because it's lesser damage, Raiden has the best access to chip damage in the game, and he's got Ambush Kano for the coverage. So somebody being left with like 2 or 3% just means nothing to you. Just doesn't mean anything. They might as well be dead. I'm waiting for an up block from uh, Chiquelo here. Like we've seen it so many times, and Pulse is able to just kind of commit to this uh, back three pressure without a care in the world. We've seen one stand two interrupt from Yon Chiquelo on the uh, dumb back two invisibility setup, but that was it. All right, four, three, four. Whoa, no, opened up on the overhead. 
That was really low. I wasn't sure if that throw was actually going to hit here. I was actually surprised that Pulse spent meter on that combo, but at least we're seeing Smoke's full damage potential off that EX teleport this time. Um, up, basically up to 400. We have to hold that. We could have Vicious Vapor through, and I wonder if we're not doing it because... Oh, actually, great conversion. So let's say, I wonder if we're not doing it because we expect, like, we get call out after the Vicious Vapor. If we get too close to Raven, you put yourself in a very good spot to get that chip damage going. Back two, we'll take that. Ooh. Got knocked down on the trade. Down one, never good in a trade circumstance. Pretty much the minimum hit stun. Oh, turn stolen, corner achieved. Kalo pushing Raid into the limit. Here comes Kano for the seal. Covering fire. Locking it up. Kano's back. Oh, that's a full block. Full punish after two. Great Vicious Vapor cancel to keep up with it. Kalo's going to arrive at Breaker by the end oh. of this. Yeah. Ended it early because of that, I think, too. 40% damage. Yeah. And got to save the Breaker for this now. It, what, you'll keep yourself alive in any case. Overhead lands. Pulse is about to get Fatal Blow territory. Gets to it off the second overhead. 8% each time. It's now been 24% oh, off the overhead. No. And there's the first low. Break, break, break. Oh, not there. Chiquelo takes it 3-1. Even ends with Fatal Blow, maximizing time loss yeah. and mental damage inflicted. Uh, well played I mean, to that, Pulse. And that's to making... Uh, stand 2-4-2-1 uh, two, two, is that four string that does, uh, you know, it keeps chipping away, especially if you go for that storm cell right after. And uh, yeah, it's tough to deal with. You have to get really good at defense against uh, Raiden. And Smoke is just one of those, again, those characters that have a hard time dealing with it on block pressure here. But this next match, Matrix up against Pure. Yuji and Nanami strings are all set up here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you were talking about characters that require you to have specialized defense in any fighting game with a clone character, including finally NRS with MK1, now having a proper clone. This is Sento Kenshi, uh, probably the most unique individual character in the game. And you do typically see Kenshi with some kind of freeze assist. Sub-Zero with his lawn freeze allows for the best Sento setups and sandwich setups. And puppet character sandwiches are the preferred lunch and dinner for every puppet character player. Um, yeah. Rather, they're what their opponents are forced to eat, uh, perhaps against their will. Honestly, what a big character change, too, from Deadly Alliance to this one. Like, the only time we see really catchy, like, since, yeah, even X, right? Like, a little bit different here in terms of play. Um, yeah, totally. I, uh, I really appreciate the deviation for Kenshi finding his identity with a uh, Sento. Not just in the story with its significance, but even in gameplay, this uh, yes. spirit is... That's a great reaction from Pure. Big swords in this matchup. It's a sword matchup. Yeah, you know, you were talking about the freeze setup too. Like, I I often see a lot of Kenshi players will be utilizing that armor from Sub-Zero. I mean, obviously Sub-Zero, or just cameo meter in general is important for Sento, but in a lot of ways we do see this situation here where, all right, I'm getting zoned out, no big deal. Let me armor up. And then I get the open here with a nice little recharge Sento summon. Yeah, oh, he's and got the brutality for finish. Ooh, that's cool. In combo, was... no less. Beautiful. That was such a Kurosawa cut right there. That that was like uh, very cinematic. I love that brutality in its like regularity and mundanity makes it one of my favorites. It's not egregious. It's just a simple sword decapitation. You love to see it. Right. Right. Oddly, one. I feel like Mortal Kombat One is the most tame Mortal Kombat in, in history. Like, well, all right. OG Mortal Kombat 1, nasty. very yeah. team, tame. Right, but right, right. Uh, this one, like, they toned it down a bit here. Like, it, like, because like, I've talked about it before. When they did that announcement trailer, I forgot it was Mortal Kombat until Liu Kang did his fatality. Uh, yeah, I have a, I have a pretty good thematic read of MK1. If you really listen to what the god of this universe, Liu Kang, says in, in the intro. What he reveals is the developer's vision. Uh, we can talk about that later. Right now, Matrix getting back into it. Great corner carry. 31, 313 damage on that one. Matrix is in trouble. More, more trouble than they've been in since the start of the set, honestly. Yeah. Alright, we got armed up. Freeze. Full setup with Sento here. Goes for the big damage. 
scenario opportunity. If anything, we'll yep. chip away. And of course, the benefit of that Sento combo ender is that Sento ends Ooh. up on the other side of the opponent, allowing for the sandwich pressure. The opponent can't get pushed away. And Sento, when you hit him, only goes away for three seconds. So that cameo bar, I know it's difficult. Oh, down one right now. You have to down one. It happened. Down one. <laughs> it looks like Pure was braver. I'm not so good at matching down one at round start either. You don't expect it, right? Like, in that scenario, that's not the play, usually. I mean, like, obviously, like you called out earlier in the bracket, like, that is that position. That is the only thing you really can do. You're trying to steal that turn back or you end up losing it. Who's, it's, it's the high noon scenario of Mortal Kombat. Round yeah. start, corner, face to face, who down ones first. Yeah, can you quick draw? Because I find that the game punishes you for trying to mash it. I can never get it out fast when I mash it. Pressing it once, though, that'll work. Plus on block on double kicks. Picking up a little bit off overhead on the other side. These low hats are putting in so much work. I feel like I've seen three low hats in three seconds. Here comes a fourth one. Somewhere. I'm sure it'll be used. Full cameo for oh. Bull. Fatal Blow on is there. Oh, that was a great back step from Pure here to get this confirmed. Yeah, and Kenshi's Fatal Blow combos with sub have so little scaling. This is going to do like 40... 45-ish? 47? 47? Yeah, okay. Rounds up to 48. Let's be real. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. Because it did, essentially. Yep. You know? Yes. These guys have similar postures in their win pose, don't they? Wide stance, <laughs> well-balanced, ready to fight. You, I mean, even though they're, they're standing on ice, but I don't believe I could make them slip if I push them. You might be able to do it for Kenshi. Kenshi doesn't have grips in those. <laughs> I mean, have you ever tried to fight in dress shoes? It ain't happening. Uh, yeah, thankfully, I haven't been put in that position yet. Um, definitely, the thought has crossed my mind. I thought you were going to ask me if you've ever tried to push a blind guy on ice, which is not something I've ever what? tried to do in my life. <laughs> have you ever tried to push a blind guy on ice? <laughs> no, no, I haven't actually. Yeah, okay. Um, All right. How would you know that it's going to be very right difficult there. to push Kenshi then? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. The Kenshi set a precedent where I think he's just very well balanced and not just because he had a variation called balanced in MKX and he has like references to the phrase fair and balanced all throughout his moves. So anyway, uh, Pure's still alive. Uh, actually up two. Uh, so thriving. Full screen presence here. No need to up block quite yet. Hasn't represented the overhead in this round at least, but has represented it in this set quite often. Matrix with the first significant combo. Oh, I just got no. distracted by the NPCs that are like lurking back there. This lady's upset, you know, like get away. Like, do you see we're having a pleasant day? Piggyback rides are being given out. You're just bloodying up the place. Fighting game stages used to be all about having the entire crowd of the stage watch the fight like you're the star of the show and it's your action. Ooh. And in modern fighting stages, the trend has been that the NPCs just don't care. Why is that guy spinning? He does a 360 with his daughter on his back. He's <laughs> well, a full spin. Think. First off, thank you very much for the uh, direct contribution. Android Sin 3750 into the prize pool to make it an even 50. Love and then Kento. Tento, thank you so much for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for participating today. And secondly, I think it's an exclusive, or thirdly, rather, I can count, I promise, chat. This is a very exclusive Mortal Kombat thing that these people do not care about what's happening because it's Street Fighter, they're watching. King of Fighters, they're watching. Tekken, watching. Yeah, yeah, for Except sure. For the Those Fisherman people... stage. Fisherman stage, they're not. I'll, uh, I'll hit you with a full list of the stages where P NPCs are or are not watching. We can talk about it later. Um, <laughs> Definitely something I like to keep track of. Up block and punishing from across the screen with the massive normals of Ostra Sword. Is that, is that forward to? I gotta learn this character's normals. I won't make any conjecture. It was a high though. Oh, get the freeze. Do not have a solid confirm. So that counter poke. That smash stance does work out here. That was resourceless damage. <laughs> Oh, down two. Oh, no range. Empty jump from Pure was brilliant. Don't want to invest too much in this comeback just yet. Maybe spend one bar or so. 
plenty of Sento time left. You see half cameo bar left on the sub zero. Oh, wow. Big punish fatal blow will kill. No, no. Will it? Oh my god, mash. I'm not sure. So it's close. so low scale. Like, I think yeah. it might kill. Because that was a full punish on that teleport here. And my goodness, Pure with a solid read. Being very patient yeah. on defense. One touch situation. Both players will block Serena and does apply sub zero armor. So no fireball game here. Pure Ooh. does get the hit with the overhead and shuts down Serena's summon. That's a 3 0 victory. What a comeback. But coming in live, we greatly appreciate it too. You get two different experiences live and offline. The editor certainly does a great job with those time codes. Um, I'll be watching uh, sometimes. Well, I'll be watching TNS anywhere. I will say. I won't incriminate myself by saying I watch it work on a muted computer in 480p, but I do. I got to get my fighting games in everywhere I go. Right. I mean, there's so much to consume too, especially since we're here every day, basically, on TNS. Yeah, that's really the most incredible thing. Uh, Chiquela, by the way, came into the chat and said Storm Cell and then started the match. Yep. <laughs> Storm Cell. We'll see if it gets put to use. Chiquela arrives at Breaker and uses it on round one. I love how Kato just comes tumbling in like a pinball. Like, what are you doing, I mean, bro? Quite literally, uh, Kano Ball should have a Miley Cyrus uh, Wrecking Ball quick, like, meme chorus line. Like, I, I, it actually comes in to wreck your life out of nowhere. Wow, the spending fatal on this comeback? I, I mean, good luck. about that quarter, yeah. Good, okay. If you don't like fatal, so I mean, that's a so damage, much. though. I mean, we got about 40% here. Yeah. Oh, 460, excuse me, my bad. Oh my oh. god, it's over. Wait, break, break, break. No, he didn't break. Oh early. my god. There's a break. We'll just break her anyway. I mean, why not just go for the combo and take the breaker yeah, manually? Ah, jeez, that's unfortunate. So I think Chikoelo thought Koizy would wake up and block the storm cell, but Koizy actually has the next level of awareness, immediately walked into it to create the breaker opportunity. And yes. that gives W very smart. I mean, think of yeah. Whoa, <laughs> zigzag, zigzag. Yeah, gotta be careful there. Already has the anti-chip buff applied. We got eyes only for no chip. Back will have to unfortunately eat a couple of these fireballs here. Nice teleport. Four hit string, exclusive raid and privilege, pro tag, privilege and power. He's canceling off the fourth hit. Look at him go. So much chip, no flawless block. Kano seals it. Kano seals it again, and even more damage because it lands as a hit. This is all Chiquelo, just like that. I must protect Earthrealm always. Splatted in the left corner. Lao lands the whiff punish against his buddy Raiden. The Fenjian Village boys. Yeah, back to back low fireball. Sindel down four is amazing. Oh! Overhead. Oh, no fly that time. Fly there through it the is. second fireball. Yeah, the armored version. I, it's so hard to zone against Raiden. Yeah. Electric fly is as effective of a teleport as teleport. And especially potent covered by Kano Ball, which Woo! is basically cameo version of an electric fly. If at first you don't succeed, throw your character across the screen head first again. There's no armor cartwheel wake up. Like, wait a minute. Oh, you're punished. Uh, Down two. Waking up in a meaty storm cell. And Koizy knew to wake up immediately, not get hit in order to break. Uh, Koizy yeah, can yeah. still win this. Very much so. Stray hits away. Ducking. Oh, this that's is going to be mid flawless. Oh, I thought maybe if you flawless, it yeah. you could survive. If you flawless, then yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it, though. Only way you could. Yeah, so even if I, floats, um, once straight in charge is that there's just too many brick tiles, she can't even float over it, I don't think. Yeah, exactly. If there, if there were a jump install, I guess, but <laughs> there's not here, you're going to get caught if you try to take this guy and float above because that top uh, electric ball does hit. But yeah, it's so interesting to think about the risk, but the reward of flawless blocking here because you're you're blocking at the you know frame perfect position there to mitigate that damage um and also mitigate the meter build as well but at the risk of if you're off you're taking that full hit chiquelo in the chat saying let's go chiquelo quite literally <laughs> hyping yourself up you know if we had a camera on you and this were an offline event this is the part where you're waving to the crowd and patting yourself on the back <laughs> 
Yeah. Ooh, that's a big call out on the back two right there from Koizy. Yeah, you hear that bass pump? That means yeah. flawless block. Ooh. I don't think the teleport was intentional, and I think Koizy's happy that Lao did not kidnap Sindel. Nonetheless, Koizy's getting punished major damage. Storm Cell sealed, Kano Ball on top. Hey, maybe Koizy's happy to get out of the situation by Ooh. taking the Kano Ball hit, uh, but too much damage was lost. Yeah, that back too, definitely. Get that overhead confirmed, and the round. Yo, upside jump too at the very last possible second here in case an up block came through again. Oh. Teleport continues it. Those knives are ridiculous. Young Chiquelo is styling. Yeah, and Chiquelo used the side switch to mislead Koizy and actually went for back throw after the side switch, showing that he doesn't actually care what side he ends up on. That was just mm -hmm. all part of the trickery plan. You have been fooled. And that's the thing with uh, with Raiden. If your neutral game is sound, you're going to be fine no matter which side, whether or not you have the corner. Um, Raiden just needs to get a mid confirm anyways. You know, not going to get anything off of overhead. It's always going to be lows. You don't have to get too tricky. Matchup seems pretty horrible. I can't lie. <laughs> it just seems bad. It seem bad. Yeah. Every time that you throw a projectile, then it's just electric fly. What do you do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And we set up. I missed it until I saw the hit. We set up a Kano knife toss and go for teleport to make you forget about it. That's very tricky timing there from young Chiquelo. Yeah, in other fighting games, once a projectile is off screen, it de-renders and stops existing. And that is not the case here in Netherrealm games in MK1. Uh, you have to mind the cameo ambush projectile all the more while it's off screen. If anything, it's scarier because you have no visual indication as to when it's coming to you. Especially, too, that's why we see often um, characters like Sindel. They'll do the Kung Lao hat spin and just let it spin for a while while they're floating to make you forget about it, right? You know it's still there, but if you duck too early, then she comes falling down and overheads you. Yes, that's right. Oof. For real? Bang, bang. Great corner carry here. Chupelo going to maybe get a breaker at the next combo. Probably not going to spend it in any case. Yeah, not even, especially not now. This is a meter building round. Oh, that's a big Coming hit, though. Three. Yeah. Will it didn't spend? That might have been worth spending on. Ooh! <laughs> I thought they traded in a mid-air collision. Yeah, yeah, just barely didn't trade. I mean, Koizy had to have thrown that air fireball so much faster and sooner than Chipolo's electric fly. Or storm cell. Double low? Works a stagger pressure? It's amazing how nothing needs to be positive on block for pressure to exist. Mm -hmm. Defense is hard. Oh, just takes Shall the hit. We go again? Shall we go again? Oh. All right, nice you know what, what really makes Raiden, like, like this character would be so much less hated if he weren't so damn nice and his temperament weren't kind. Like, that... like the fact that he's this top tier and uh, you know <laughs> this this capable of kind of grinding somebody into dust, and then he's just like, good games, bro. We should just, fight again. Yeah, what did, what did Raiden do to any of you? You know, he's yeah. on the same character select screen. Last I checked. Yeah. Unless if some folks got bug games with Mortal Kombat, I can't <laughs> Raiden. Maybe the best version of the game is the one with 32 Raidens to pick from. Oh. There's infinite timelines of Raidens. I want that evil MKX Raiden who was in the first five minutes of MK11. Yo, we'll have an off-screen conversation about uh, something very crazy about the evil Raiden. <laughs> that yeah. do not share here. <laughs> Mount Mountain Dew Code Red Raiden. <laughs> oh man. What do I call? What was my nickname? Doing? A sicko mode Raiden. We got a lot of time to talk about Raiden while he lands. He's his got a, He's got a nickname for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the Storm Cell meaty? I cannot believe Storm Cell's in meaty range. Chiquela's about to end the set right here, right now. Oh my god, what do you do? Run! <laughs> oh my god, it's a mid. Electric flies a mid. You can't dodge it. 
He is the projectile. Smoked both daughters. Smoked the general. S probably smoked Sindel. Smoked Raiko, the jobber. Uh, I, I love the new rotation of jobbers in MK1. I think they picked some really good ones. I cannot wait to see who they bring out for the jobbers next game. Uh, Natara, Raiko, great choices. Mm -hmm. um, definite jobbers. Do you remember it was uh, Megan Fox said she wanted to play Katana in particular in a Mortal Kombat movie or in Mortal Kombat? I don't remember then, that at all. Well, yeah, that was in a couple interviews a few years ago. She would always mention Katana, Katana. And then NRS was like, okay, let's uh, let's think of a character whose name kind of sounds similar and has the same syllable count. Natara, who's less important in the story and has less lines. Okay, that's her. Natara, great. We'll have her be Natara. Does Megan know there are other characters besides Katana? Katana. And, and, and Natara now, I guess. She has okay. been made aware she's with Natara. Uh, okay, all right. She probably played Katana in MK2 when she was nine. I don't know. <laughs> God, I am older than Megan Fox, aren't I? I don't know. Oh man, that's all you, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's all you. <laughs> Side switch with ball roll and the round for Dexy. Um, we were talking too much about Melina's sister, but it's all uh, you know, top tier genes out here. Oh no, she's double safe, so thank God. You don't often see the double Serena combo anymore, but uh, mm -mm. the Serena combos are so long that she built back about half of a Serena summon anyway, so. I guess it's all right. Already got one back after taking this throw. Down goes Serena. Yeah, nice stagger pressure from Pure, too. That's for frames. Just for the pushback here, actually, going to get a lot of room so you don't get punished out. Yeah, Again. that pressure you see with the long distance staggers is very reminiscent of Fujin in MK11. Um, yes. I believe Fujin will also be like spacing you out with a multi hit sword string. Um, surprising distance on the stagger pressure. Surprisingly yeah. effective. Very, uh, you know, one of the last appearances, right? Because he gave out MK Ultimate, MK11 right. Ultimate, right? So, yeah. Um, took a little while for that character to develop, but definitely skyrocketed in uh, capability for sure. And I, you could definitely see the similarities here in Kenshi as well. Like, especially that, that sword, that, that horizontal slash is absolutely a Fujin attack. Yeah, they also have the same color particle effects. I, I think it might actually be a recycled animation. Uh, and that's not any criticism. I see those all over the place. Anyone who's been playing NRS games for long enough will be able to be like, oh yeah, that was a MK9 Baraka stand for that you just saw on a, you know, Sha I believe General Shao's stand for is Baraka's MK9 stand for. But that's just one example. They're all over. Right. It's kind of fun to find them, honestly. Gives familiarity, especially too for legacy players, right? So you see that button, you know a little bit quicker how to interact with it. All the Very... uh, all the forward fours are called big leg. Like if it's a big plus on block, slow kick, it's just called <laughs> big leg. NRS is really crafty with their with their moves list names. I know people probably are more concerned with the fact that all the training mode data or all the moves list frame data was wrong, but come on, you gotta appreciate those names. Great jokes in there. How we can simplify time. the most, like, because they all have individual names in the command list. It's just like big leg. That's it. Yeah, big leg. <laughs> the fact that, like, every character's down one has a name is so funny to me. It's like, it's usually two words, too. <laughs> yeah, the Mamma Mia. Yeah, yeah. Remember the that Mama one? Mia. Oh, my God. Um, of course, Johnny's forward three in every game is Dizzy Knee. Two words. Named after the dev that has decided to make the, the knee possible. I mean, hey, it's nine frames in this game, not eight like MK9. But, uh, it's definitely the best normal. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, Pure took some time, uh, quite literally. Uh, Gather breath, maybe. Switch to the stage. Mm -hmm. I know Kenshi loves hanging out at Johnny's house. Sento is out of the case up there, actually. Is Sento in the case? I wonder if Kenshi's not on the stage. Yeah, Sento I... is in the cage. In the cage. In the case. Uh, when Kenshi is on the stage. That's interesting. I never noticed that, actually. That's for so Kenshi cool. being on the stage. But I know for sure the sword is definitely there. 
That is so cool. I love that. I see. So the waste electricity by doing, you know, the AC on with a giant open window. All right. NRS, I see you. Oh my god, yeah, the interior design in here. Oh, egregious. Babe. Hey, back to four four. Oh, just outside of range, cartwheel coming through. Nice pickup. Is there anything more that was available? Maybe yeah, I feel like there was there? a bit more after that, but I we don't have Sento to back us up, so maybe it was just a little bit of autopiloting. Yeah, I don't think the third hit was cancelable, but at least it juggled. Um, Still, though, Dexy is making a lot out of this last 3%. Pure has time, but Fatal Blow is still a kill scenario in any case. Four seconds to go. Maybe take the throws till you die. Oh! Uh, oh! That yeah, was going to be ball roll. Off. The combo is ball roll, Fatal Blow, and that's the only way it would have won. And I, I respect it, because that would have hit any movement whatsoever. Overhead string, put sent, uh, Sento away. Base is pumping here for round two at Johnny Cage's mansion. Pretty adamant on maintaining this half screen range as Dexy. Um, the projectiles are much harder to react to once you're closer, and that's just a yeah. simple fighting game fundamental phenomenon. Um, even the Serena protocol is very fast. Favorable trades for Pure, though, who still has the life lead. Life lead widening, too. Dexy sent back full screen. Only thing working Dexy's way right now is the meter lead. Gonna build lots more meter through this combo, too. This will give Dexy a life lead. Like, just barely. Nice. Giving pure fatal blow though could prove dangerous. They both got it now. You know, to Sometimes. be fair, she was tossed in the very soft rug. Except for this throw. This was pure marble. The bloodstains look very it. good on the rug. I yeah. just noticed that. They, they dissipate very naturally. Ooh, force push at the end. Pure ties it up. Long rounds each of them. And uh, I, I believe round one ended with one second on the clock. And round two ended with seven seconds on the clock. Both of them victorious for pure. Playing Kenshi, a character who can play slow and should play slow because he wants to save his rushdown and close range opportunities for when he's got Sento back. Um, so until you have full Sento, walk away. Don't commit. Uh, hold your ground. Don't get cornered. And then spend everything once you have your opportunity. It's kind of how everybody should play this game. Um, once your cameos are full, go ham. And until they are play defensive that's i think that's pretty much good for everybody that's that's the mantra you should kind of have in uh any tag fighter really right just my sister on cooldown let me wait a little bit before i go ham yeah exactly oh good flawless block actually i'm very curious about that and uh good to see that we can't get punished after the force push yeah it depends upon how long it's charged yep. and the space on beforehand it's always good to try shadow stand too definitely punishes it's so good Forward throw. Pure fighting from a pretty big deficit. Oh, big hit though, and sub mm -hmm. forces the break, uh, or rather makes Dexy choose to do it, keeping the oh. life lead in doing so. Fifty percent life lead here. Dexy just losing out on it. Nice up block, but not able to get the tilt and tumble punish. And the life lead has transferred possessions. Yeah. Now belongs to Pure. A throw will kill at this point. Sandwich pressure's there too. It's pretty much over. What do you do? Yeah, the oh, yeah. Kind of hope for a flawless, and that was it. Yo, Kenshi doing the Shujinko right there. <laughs> Sitting, floating. The Shujinko back. Koizy, where you at? It's the best, Ko the best Shujinko I've ever seen. No doubt. It was the only Shujinko you said. <laughs> Yes, literally, I didn't know what his icon looked like. <laughs> I, by the way, I've been playing this game every day. No, not really, but I've been playing and paying attention to it every day since its launch. That was the first time I've ever seen Shujinko in a match. I can count on one hand how many times I've seen Shujinko. <laughs> I can count on one finger. <laughs> anyway, Jeez, the double, double Serena. Serena. 
yeah, the seven ninety nine Domino's double pizza deal coming through in the clutch. I this must be the only character where you can possibly justify doing double Serena, just because the combo is so long afterwards. I think we saw it a lot with Ashra too. Yeah, honestly, sure. I'm because I'm she juggles and it takes a while after two. Yes. But um, I think Melina's are even more effective oh, just yeah. Uh, yeah. on a case by case basis. Melina's routes are long. We did see uh, like Smoke used to go for double Serena setups too. Like right, the stagger right. pressure. Oh, yeah, that was tough. Got to stay on one punish. Mm -hmm. One two. You taste weak. That is sick. What a sick line. This is the character who canonically blinded Kenshi and made him stronger. <laughs> Kenshi should be so thankful. I just, you know, realistically, you're dead, right? Like, you see how deep those sigh went into his eyes? You're dead. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, they, no he got brain. <laughs> my friends were watching that scene when I was, yeah. I was streaming it while we played another. Like, oh my god, Kenshi's dead! <laughs> we all thought there was, was just so dead. much blood. There was a lot. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was definitely like a Kurosawa level of blood. Um, because we all knew that, like, okay, so Kenji's got two eyes, and Melina's the only character with two size, like a two-use weapon in the game. So it has to be Melina that's going to blind him, right? And then we're like, oh my god, she killed him! <laughs> it could have been Reptile just spit in his eyes, you know? That would be interesting. I guess it would be very specifically his eyes, because he would get face burns on his scars. I don't know. We're getting too too thoughtful for a last round situation in a 1-1 one -one circumstance from which Dexy is Huge. nearly equalizing the life. Fatal Blow's there for Dexy too, but going for overheads, yeah. shaving down the life. I oh, thought for sure you... we we're going to route for an overhead, or not overhead, Fatal Blow situation. Whoa, Yo, the teleport would throw it down one interrupt the bravery from Pierre. It was, was that meterless teleport? And if that were metered teleport, would that have led to a combo opportunity and a kill? Was, was that an input error perhaps? That should have been a... That should have just been a regular, because it was meterless teleport. That should have been a hit. It just missed. No, no, it did hit, but it there was just hit? no combo yeah. after. Um, and then a scramble situation that uh, that pure came out on top of. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll maybe take a look at that later in the replays. Still, same everything for everybody, except for the stage. Oh. <laughs> And she has not forgotten. Oh, her and she has forgotten either. You almost stole my throne. I didn't want your throne. Yeah. Who I said we were it. taking your throne? Yeah, you. The the el the outworlders are so insecure. It's just ridiculous. Earthrealmers just trying to hang out. Well, as Liu Kang said, all they know is combat. That's true. Their They're looking for an excuse. Yeah. It sounds kind of fun, honestly. What? That's like. Well, no one ever dies. It's just friendly, nice combat. Like the whole first five chapters uh -huh. of this game. Like no in fact, does anyone die in this game? No. Well, no, it's, it... no actually, evil, uh, evil Shang does. Well, yeah, we don't like him. The, the hero Shang survived. That's what matters. The snake oil salesman guy is alive. Down one, of course, jails uh, into stand ones. One of the fundamental truths of NRS games. Landing a down one, very, very good for you. In this game, though, finally, down ones are punishable by down ones themselves. It's very intentional design. They're minus eight, all of them. That way, seven frame down ones can punish, but stand ones cannot punish due to down ones crouching recovery, even though stand ones are generally seven frames as well. So, right. very, very intentional. Nice slow the down one tries to steal back the turn despite losing it. Alright, Dexy just one touch away from losing it all here on this round. Nothing, Six seconds left, no just hold block. That's all you need. It's if Melina had any way to most effectively build meter, I'd do that for five seconds if possible. Try not to hit it. Pure probably wasn't gonna let that happen. It was gonna still throw some spirits in there, but nonetheless it's set point pure. Interrupt here. Try to go for the back throw. Ah. This one here, banish thee. I love that throw animation. Just throws the sword down. Yeah, it's cool. Everything Kenshi does is cool. Hey! Look at low block. Oh, you're nice expecting that overhead block. not coming through. Because we're a little too cautious here. Got opened up with the freeze and a Sento setup. Double dash under. Great damage. Oh. Low this time. Yep. Full combo. Pretty much 
difficult is uh, understatement here for Dexy. Blocking him out, though, and Sento's gone. Could be a chance. Mm -hmm. Fatal Blow is there, at least. Has three bars, too. Dexy could break. Uh, unable to break single hits at a time. I like the yeah. choice from Pure. Keeping the momentum up after landing the low poke. Overhead, back two, finishes it, and Pure wins 3-1. Was ever increasing their position in the bracket week in, week out. And Hourglass Brain also making that strong standout appearance just a few weeks back for their first TNS, but have been competing in other brackets prior. Like, this this is definitely your two consistent players here because Hourglass have been on a couple win streak there. Just Nasty taking a couple as well. So, yeah, no surprise to see both these players in winner's Ooh. final size back to confirm. Yeah, uh, back to thanks to smoke cancel, you have plenty of time to see if it's hit or blocked and adjust accordingly. And the normal just has massive range. It didn't hit there because it's an overhead. It hit there because it's huge. <laughs> I see, I see. The four, four, four is huge as well. Huge back two, mm -hmm. safe cancel, right? Never overextending, never just believing it's going to hit, willing to see it. Oh, that's a whip punish. Mm. Actually caught Molina going into the air for the last hit of the string and still adjusted the combo accordingly. Full pickup into 230. Good chunk of damage. Oh, and we have armor, so we can the ice armor came in about to stand one time. anti here. Yeah. Wow. That, I think that was maybe like a frame away. Like Sub-Zero just showed up and put that ice armor on. So impressive. Yeah, he just got caught lingering just a little bit too long there with the holding of the... Kung La, I almost said block a ball. Thanks, <laughs> uh, What's the difference? Uh, probably an accidental jump back kick there from Just Nasty. He's lost a little bit of space, but what do you do? There's a low hat coming at you. I take the low hat. That's what I yeah. yeah, just respect the low hat. Yeah, don't forget about the three after the back two. That is really easy to forget about because yeah. it has it's it also has surprisingly long range. Comes out quickly on whiff. Also cancelable, so you could yes. you can even see juggle pickups off of that. Oh, and Smoke even if can you, flail pretty well. And also, if you block the three, don't worry. I have another button right after if you happen to block that. What a ridiculous string! It rocks. Oh, the low hat never came. Hourglass of Rain just totally took advantage of the expectation that there was supposed to be some kind of hard to blockable and actually hit just nasty duck blocking a jump in, making it look like you don't know how to play. Just for one. Oh, certainly. early on the stand. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, but still able to keep swinging out. Does get the kill. It's so much harder to commentate an invisible character when they're going for stagger pressure and not a combo. Well, and, and that's the risk that uh, Just Nasty kind of plays with. It's cleaned up so much over time, too, of, because of how many how often Just Nasty will Vicious Vapor cancel. The, if you look at earlier play, like it was difficult for Just Nasty to get a solid confirm off of the rapid uh, Vicious Vapor cancels, but now we're seeing more consistency of getting used to putting it out there. That muscle memory is there. of like, great, I got the confirm. Let me continue rolling. Yeah, I think uh, a good strategy against back two in neutral is to just be preemptive and use very active strings. There you can see Hourglass of Rain is advancing now with these long, multiple hit Molina strings. Uh, they can definitely catch back two on the way in. They can catch a Just Nasty that's moving forward too fast. And if Just Nasty is being respectful, they're okay on block, especially with a Lao low head at the ready for the cancelable portions of the string. Jeez. Nice up Hopes block. And up block, finish again. Great yes. awareness on EX Smoke Bomb invisibility setups. Mm -hmm. But you have to be careful too, because sometimes uh, Just Nasty will just go for empty. So again, this is- Another one. Yo, yo. But this is also that layer of potential conditioning that we might see from Just Nasty later on in the setup. Great, now you are consistently up blocking these dump back twos. What if I just go and Viz and do nothing about it? Yeah, um, there's, is there like a, there's no empty function for installing invisibility from smoke drop, right? Like you can't just like empty low after that. It always comes down as an overhead first. Am, no, am I understanding? Not always. Oh, 
Okay, well, no, let's just stop doing the overhead, right? Uplock seems to be uh, very effective against it. Let's just let's just stop. And by let's and we, I mean just nasty. We'll see what happens. That's what we'll do. That's all we'll get to do. We can't make the decisions. We just observe. Smoke walk speed is so good. Yes. Just notice that. It's just, it, I don't know, it, it de-stresses me to not have to wave dash around. Like, like when you can actually just walk, you can duck more comfortably, Ooh. too. Yeah. Thank you so Leaf much for the raid, Leaf Live. Leaf, Leaf Live TV, you got me. Leaf Live TV, thank you so very much for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. Just nasty pokes back at minus two. Does not want to let Rain get away with anything extra. Oh yeah, totally invincible to low hat. Mm -hmm. And really all the stand too? Hourglass had no business calling it. The ice armor was already up. Jack two was See? uncontested. There it Great is. timing on the breaker at least to try to put just nasty back in the corner, but just nasty teleports out right away. Nonetheless, ball roll. A little bit of a setup here. Ice armor again to contest. Allow low hat as the setup was forming. Sub Zero really just shows right up there and immediately gives you what you need to deny the mix-up. I mean, what a great deterrent. We, we were talking about how sub versus sub was like a deterrence theory, like, you know, mutually right. assured destruction type deal. But honestly, sub versus Lao, that is, that is so effective. And really quick, too, we did see in that last round of the corner position that uh, uh, Just Nasty did go for that down back two invisibility, but then opted for an empty option, called out Hourglass on that up block. So again, that's the mix potential that Smoke has here off invisibility. You have to worry about yeah, yeah, you can afford to make them feel good about up-blocking three smoke drops because it's a three game to win set, and that was only game one. Now, now, just nasty can take advantage of that conditioning. Teleports himself into the corner, but interrupts the leaping gap in the Molina string. Gonna find a lot of damage here. So much damage, actually. Oh my god. One touch, four, four. Had to flawless, flawless block there. We're really trying to chip out, and that flawless block benefit lingered forever yeah yeah i think that was 0.001 percent life yeah. or maybe three or four hits including the down one that came after but smoke drop finished the job for just nasty who takes the lead 2-1 the seminal turn or uh momentum changing point that's at 2-1 is when the newton's cradle uh hammers back a little bit harder out of nowhere for some reason the uh the metronome Mm -hmm. immediately swings with opposite and equal force. I mean, let's see what Hourglass can do. I wasn't, I really didn't even, I had no expectations for who would win this set. In my head, I always do for every set, pretty much. And this one, I don't know. They're both elite. Yeah, these two just, again, their consistency. And both of them on winner's side as well. Like, normally one or the other is on winners, and the other, you know, making that loser side run, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, tried to make the most out of that situation, just could not get the pick up. We tried to go for opposite side stand one as well. Which one of them blends into the stage more? Oh, definitely Molina's Smoke. has got the I gray mean, skin, at... but Smoke's got the gray hood and everything. Yeah. I mean, Molina has red accents, so very clear to see. Yeah, that is that is true. I like to ask these questions because I'm colorblind. No, I'm not. I'm not at all. <laughs> That'd be a night for this stage nightmare. You know, I have to believe they definitely tested the uh, the colorblindness of uh, the stage, right? There's no way. Uh, honestly, probably not. No, I, I, don't I know. There's no there's, way. maybe there's a mode. It's just I, some of them are like some of these stages are particularly dark. Thankfully, I think our uh, stream runner has actually brightened up the game. This stage on the left side is almost difficult to see on some monitors. Anyway, you see the ex use of down back one from smoke. Having unscaled damage applied, a true combo ender, mm -hmm. uh, and it gets, squeezes out the kill for just nasty. Oh, that was just game one for us. Uh, I thought, sorry, my bad. not a, not a two yeah. one, but it's one one. You get one rookie. At the four four, hold the plus frame's gonna get scooped up. Yo, Hourglass is not able to get out of this corner quite yet. The jump. Does avoid that low hat. Nice back yeah. two, but not able to get that confirmed. Just opted for a down back two. Didn't believe. 
all we saw from the low hat was the spark trail left behind yeah. on the left side. You really have to pay attention. Even the particle effects are useful information in this game. Oh, just have to worry about low hat because the armor and see there again. I don't have to commit to anything off the down back too. You got a few up blocks on me, but uh, that's about as much as you're going to get for the rest of the set. And here's what the rest of the combo looks like. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! She went invisible too, just for a brief second to teleport, and it put Nasty in the corner. Looking for a whip punish was Hourglass of Rain with the back dash, but smokes down one, recovers pretty fast, it seems. Molina's forward four, not fast enough for the whip punish. And so just Nasty goes up 2 1. The Lin Kuei posing on us. Well, now Shirai Ryu. Oh, you're right. You're right. Except for, I don't, right. I don't know about this. Is this Bihan back here, or is this Kwai Liang? Which one we got back there? Um. Okay, okay. I think most of the cameos of classic characters are the MK2 versions. I believe even the default costumes are MK2. All right, so that should be Bihan, then, because Noob was three. Yeah, you're right. That's All right, Bihan. it is Bihan. All right. Makes sense. This is... Uh, <laughs> even the even the cameo characters are canon in this timeline story. Uh, <laughs> my particular favorite consideration for character costumes and timelines is Jean Claude Van Damme Johnny being in the MK1 Johnny outfit because he's from the timeline where Jean Claude Van Damme actually got cast as Johnny in Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, 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 layers. Yeah. Isn't that layers. sick? It's actually that such an interesting sick. costume if you think about it. <laughs> and then every version of Johnny, it, every costume from X is actually just another version of Johnny. So. Yeah, right, right, right. Down one, respected. Ooh, Nasty, one unable there. to get away. It's that long range down one from Melina. I, I'm pretty sure it's the best one. Nice tag. Same pickup. Um, I, I drew attention to that awareness on the air pickups from straight hits. Literally the first time we saw our glass of green, like two hours ago or something. Yeah. And that Double was a beautiful one. delay wake up too from uh, Just Nasty. You know, force so hourglass to finish the string so we can get up safely. Yep. In the blink of an eye, the ice armor's on, the hat gets negated, Just Nasty lands a corner combo on hourglass. A good one too. Got the yep. invisibility set up, extends it with another aerial combo. No up block this time. You've seen this now. Yeah, well, it's too invisible. Mm -hmm. Because that first game, it was every single time. We're going to up block on these down back twos and just keep swinging while standing up. It's not a bad call against uh, yes. Smoke. A barre, active defense. It's it's versus game defense. you got to give him something to run into. Protect yourself. Blocking will get you nowhere. You can't win that way. Yeah, it's one of those situations where you can't let Smoke just get away with that offensive pressure. Commit it to the overhead. Say, hey, you know what? That's fine. Low profiles with down 3-4. Four, four. Oh. Yeah, you Such can't get anything poke. beyond the down 3-4 after that. Like, you just kind of have to Ooh. go for a reset after. I'm pretty sure 13 is the highest damage on forward throw you can get. I, and I think it's just Sonya and Sub that have it, the most damaging forward throws. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Sub does have the most damage. I mean, Sonya probably second, right? Yeah. I think they're both 13. Okay. Somebody lied to me and told me that all the cameos have different fatal blow damage. Totally lie. a lie, by the way. It always has 32 as a base. That made me so upset when somebody told me that. <laughs> Sonya's 140. If she's the most. Good to know. I see. I see. I, I remember being struck by it. So that's as much as a back throw. Yeah. Nice to not have the disadvantage. Oh my goodness. This routing, though, from Hourglass about to close out this game. Yeah, throw yep. damage yep. is yep. nothing compared to combos. Let's see another one. No need to up block here either. That was air to air on reaction. Able to get that solid confirm. There are answers. And clearly, Hourglass has lab this. You faced just nasty enough. He said, no, 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 it's time to start laughing. You face him, but also you see the player doing well elsewhere, and mm -hmm. you realize, oh, my God, I can just watch everything they've ever done. I right. don't know if this game has a, a good theater mode or anything, um, or like a like a CFN-type like replay viewer 
the older games i think mk11 did but i don't know if this one does this one it's it's been a little bit since i kind of messed around with it but yeah this one does have that strong theater mode you can definitely go back into your replays um for okay, searching cool. for players i'm not sure i've definitely looked back at my own replays more than i have yeah search for replays that's more productive at our level i think um of course youtube people will do a good job finding top level play regardless oh yeah yeah, yeah. you know and thank so you so much to, to the players that do uh put out that content for us you know i know fox and grandpa's been doing a lot of that Hey, I'm on your raw match uploads. Whoever uploads them, I, I kind of need just raw matches. The commentators do like to study, believe it or not. Um, people say, oh, it's just low effort content. No one's going to watch it. I'm literally watching and randomly clicking on every raw match upload. You have no idea. Anyway, uh, I, I like some raw match uploads, but I'm going to be wanting to look at this set later. 2-2 two -two in this winner's finals. Mm-hmm. Can't be happier with that score. Oh, you can certainly be happier if you have one more to one <laughs> player's side. Oh, I'm talking about us as spectators. I mean, we, we're supposed yeah, yeah, yeah. to like... <laughs> yeah. Lao has charged all the way. With punishing back two with ball roll is Hourglass of Rain. Oh, okay. Good blocks in the overhead there. And again, go there back to... Look, if you're yeah. not going to, and, and that's the call out, right? So I love the adjustments back and forth between these two because it was, I got up blocked a lot. Let me go for empty down back too. And that went for a little while against Hourglass. And now Hourglass said, okay, time to go for neutral jump to punish that if you're going to be inconsistent. So now what's the next change going to be? I think maybe, okay, so you know how smoke drop comes from the sky and can get air to air. Maybe if Nasty cancels into raw, regular smoke teleport, which comes from low, he could... I have no idea. I, I don't know. I think it might be convincing, but I don't know if it'll actually hit Melina out of the air. Sacrifices oh, combo geez, damage for a little yeah. bit of OP, and you saw 17 damage, basically, on a, a hard to blockable. Pretty good. Stands them back up, reduces their wake-up options. The long yeah. range back too. Accompanied by a dash. Love the choice to jump over the Lao hats. Um, I don't oh, know, maybe, maybe teleport's a good punish? No, not sure. Yeah, okay, back to no confirm, and that's the scare because it's been blocked so many times. But even with a smoke cancel, it could have confirmed on block or hit, but it never came. Yeah, it should have been back to Vicious Vapor, cancel, confirm. Would have killed, but unfortunately, now you got to play this work. 17 seconds left here. Has to be. You have. Wait! You had oh, armor! Break. You forgot you had uh, armor! You could have kept going! I guess so, yeah. Maybe thought it was gonna go away. Totally String away from Sub Zero at all. I mean, you're getting that extra health, anyways, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, the only other one I've seen is Lao, but I mean, who hasn't seen Lao with every character in the game? Right, right. Especially in this uh, state of the game right now, Lao is definitely a, a big pick, but for Young Chiquelo out here with Kano. He is the go-to. I think, um, especially for Kenshi, the lawn length of freeze is valuable, getting Sento out in the right spot. You can't right. even do that with the Frost one. Oh, jeez. Missed the air to air. That should have been a either front or back punch, the one or two. Goes for positioning with Sento. Interesting setup from Pure. Down goes Sento, but he's back. Wait, I thought Sento just got hit. What happened? <laughs> Did he unsummon or something? Did I, miss that? I missed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll try to go for the overhead. Just down one interrupt from pure. Good call. Tries to be a little bit more aggressive with the air or anti air rather. No need for flawless quite yet, but that's going to start to become a factor as this chip damage dwindles. Overextended here with the two four two. You know, back in my day, you used to have to meter burn the trident rush to make it do seventeen percent chip. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, now you just get it. And you then what happened after that? I'm pretty sure they uh, just... Uh, well, um, they kept uh, they kept it in the next game and made it do 19% chip on meter burn. And they added the uh, possibility of perfectly spacing your trailer rush so it was plus. But that was advanced. Let's not talk about that ever again. Okay, all right. Yeah. The only Aquaman I like to talk about is Ryan Kavalik. Oh, me, mister. Yeah. 
Get doxxed. Get doxxed. Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. <laughs> Last name's out there. Fourth throw. row. Per I, li I like the choice, too. Um, back throw is too obvious when oh. you're that close to the corner. Beautiful back step again from Pure. I love the spacing game from Pure in general. Just knows exactly how far these normals are going to go. Really takes advantage of that, especially the reach that Kenshi has after those back dashes. Yeah, um, I think Pure probably should have known Chiquelo was going to break because holding your breaker for after Sento gets summoned is very critical against Kenshi. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a complete waste of a breaker to break any combo that is not Sento involved. He only gets his high damage with Sento. For example, that was it. That was his 26% damage peak without Sento. Of course, Cameo Bar is filling up and Pure has plenty of life to bring out Sento again and possibly finish this game run. Chiquelo with Fatal Blow, though, can surely kill in one touch with all that meter, too. Oh, good duck. One well-confirmed touch. Oh, the chip! Oh, Red, God. Though. Oh, God. Trying to be really immediate. It ran needs. into an immediate break. All right, both players want to... No Does shot! Does that work? Oh, my God! The range yes. of Kenshi Fatal Blow so surprising. Great reaction. We've seen clutch Fatal Blow reaction and terrors from... Hourglass with Melina uh, and Rexy, and now also Pure with the long range Kenshi Fiddle, bro. I, I forgot about that. I always get tagged by that. Anyway, wide stance, everybody. Wide stance. <laughs> Maximize your balance. If I had a PS5 and I were in this lobby, I would have given 10 respect to. Hey, when's that crossplay coming out? Y'all hyped for crossplay? Not, yeah, not for that's competitive supposed to be reasons. here on the the next uh, update. Well, they, I don't think they actually said which update it was going to be, but they said it's coming soon. Ah, my favorite S word with four letters in it. Ooh. Soon. Four hits. Bang, bang. Corner carry here. No, it just goes for damage instead. I, I would have thought Electric Fly. You're off to a pretty rough start. Get him somewhere. There's a Sento off the freeze. This is good. Plenty of time left on Sento, too. Oh no, it drops the combo. Yeah, that's not a good look. It still goes for Sword Toss, though. Any Sento combo getting dropped is pretty catastrophic for Kenji. Yeah. It's a huge commitment of resources to have it suddenly disappear, and then you have to scramble with it. Sento probably gets hit, and that's the end of that. Interrupted Storm Cell. Yeah. Your combat honors me. There was a little bit of a chance once that down one landed, but I don't think Pure was ready for it to land either. It was kind of like a last ditch effort. Yeah. Of course, push here, just outside of range, and just like that, Young Chiquelo able to go for that zoning game. I do like the back and forth between the uh, either. Going Chiquelo playing that close range or just opting for full screen zoning being a bully either way. 4-4 four, four into the down four too. Oof. Good 30%. And the same combo is about to happen. Breakers there. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Delayed Kano Ball release. Pure has a lot of work to do. Flawless blocked it, though. I mean, going to have to flawless block pretty much every projectile and every storm cell from here on out. Yeah, I mean, that was great. Little back step. Just was hoping for Kano to go through on the ambush with knife toss. Just got chipped away. Nice four, four again. Ties it up. One all. Yeah, and you know on block that we were about to see storm cell after four, four, three. It just oh, happened yeah. to hit, so we didn't need to. It was uh, one-sided each game, I think. I think two, it was two rounds straight each. Basically meaning it's dead even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's much that Kenji can really do against Runaway uh, uh, Rated either, uh, EC. Um, sword Toss is an option. Of course, that overhead with uh, Sento is an option as well, but... If Yon Chiquelo wants to zone out, 
Kenshi has to walk it down. You crouch through, you do have to go for your dash blocking as well. Overhead spirit uh, is a full screen option. Right. It's It may be possible to get like a quick tag, maybe like 7% punish on an electric fly above your head, but you would have to have him cross you up really soon. Like the, the later he crosses you up, the harder it's going to be to, to time that properly. Like the side switch here, making sure mm -hmm. that the breaker would be, um, if it were to come, would still keep Chiquela cornered. And so exactly. it does. Yeah. Ooh, oh! There it is. That's the Punisher across the screen. Sword toss for 18. So I'm set to right in front of you here so we can make this dash up pressure. I like the unsummon there. Yeah. I think that's fine. Don't want to overextend. Just wanted to come back. Here we go. Look at that excellent reach there and beautiful finish from Pure. He's got normals. That sword was definitely on Raiden's arm for a second. <laughs> Raiden was holding it up. Oh, didn't that look like it hit? It did. It looked like Seto okay through, but now, uh, mm. you know, Raiden with the four three opener. Phantom hitbox on the Phantom, huh? Or Phantom non hitbox? It's a meter building round. Let it go. Yeah, there's no way we're breaking here. Just kind of gonna hold this. But I think two Yon Chiquela will probably opt for better positioning. Hey, if we can get the kill, we'll take it. I mean, even spending cameo. Yeah. It's rough. I don't know. Have to make sure. Oh, the next hit. Okay. Confirm. Well, the next thing in a fatal no blow will kill. The next thing. The next thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yo, and that was my words one right now. Right there, the throw. Is that it? No, 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 no. Chip. Whoa! The down one's out so of range. Careful. Has yeah, to we'll have to hold it. this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You know what? I'm pretty sure forcibly getting hit and then breaking would have given Pure the best chance, but that also, if failed, would leave Chiquela on a easy round three against a full meter right. deficit um, for Pure. Let's look at the punish. Another set to summon, but yeah, I, I think that's a fair call too. Like, if we did take that first hit break, I think the next fear would have been, oh great, I've sent uh, a full screen situation here where. Young Chiquelo can run away. Pure has yeah. to chase down. I understand not breaking. Ooh. Pure took round three, no problem anyway. Use that meter in the process. Yeah. And goes up 2-1. Chiquela in the chat says, down two. WTF. Uh, down two. Down two did not connect. Uh, to translate there. Mm-hmm. Down two is uh, probably the most useful it's ever been in an NRS game. Not only are they the situationally, uh, or they're the go-to anti-airs by default, but in this game, there are a lot of situations where being able to suddenly launch an opponent very high is the best defensive, aggressive defensive option you can have because they can't get trade combos if you manage to hit them with a quick down two. Anything True. that keeps them grounded, you know, if you're going to fight against striker grenades or ambushes, for example, down twoing and squeezing it in, even trading is always going to be in your favor. So that's probably why uh, Chiquela was going for down two. There's another one with punish as well. Very powerful. Got the charge. Grandpa going to take a little bit of a break. We could just be very patient as you activate these uh, electric ball. Yep. Oh, nice whip punish by taking a back step. Sometimes it takes a different perspective to go for a more significant strike. Yeah, full screen armor. Was that a micro duck? Somehow? Into a massive damage. That the throw most certainly whiffed. Oh god. Getting hit by Storm oh. Cell. Back forward to looking like MK9. Uh, what's the name of that plus on block armor move? Oh, in MK9, um, you got me. Yeah, yeah. Not around for that one. It's all good. It's, it's all, all good. Other games. <laughs> it's spiritually captured in that back forward two reversal from Kenshi. Though, definitely not plus on block armor like it used to be. They only gave that to Shao Kahn next to his axe. Mm. A couple overheads here. We'll spend oh. the meter electric fly. Good grip of damage, and honestly, it's probably going to be Young Chiquelo's round unless we get like that strong comeback that we have from pure 
in that last game, it's definitely not going to happen here. We got locked down in the electrical cell. Well, hey, Kano's not back yet. At least Chiquelo spent Kano as the last thing for the round, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's good for Pure. Chiquelo hovering around two bars. Pure not far behind. Feeling to have a full screen. A little bit more tension now. Oh, too far for the overhead, though. Those down fours finding their mark. Whoa, that's an input error, and it's fully punished into a side switch. Breaker comes in for Chiquelo. Oh, good air to air. Yep. The fly Maximize after. Nice block on overhead to take your turn back, though. Don't do it right again. Don't do sky. it a third time. Delayed wake up makes it whiff, but every trade is in. Actually, they're not in Pure's favor yet, but maybe soon no. they will be. Oh, yeah. Can't punish that. Three bars for Pure. Oh, no, Kato! Curse you! Having breakers a huge deal right now. You might want to. Oh, my God. It jumped over. This, is this breaker gonna break get it, used? Break it, break it. There it is. I mean, how many hits though? That was a little bit longer than we wanted. Cannot yeah. survive. Cannot survive. It's over. Yeah. That was actually a very interesting use of Kano Ball right there too, because we go for Electric Fly. We know it's gonna be unsafe. You can't help but try to punish it. Kano Ball in the background to uh, make that safe. To even if the opponent does attempt to punish you, you get blown up by Kano. You know, I have noticed, it seems that the cameo characters with lesser health seem to be those with ambushes. I think NRS knows how good they are. Kano's got less. Um, let me look at this character select real quick. Striker's got less. Actually, Cyrax does not have less, though. What other ambushes are there? I actually have no idea why characters have less health or not. I just know Striker, it makes sense, because he's really good. <laughs> You, you were onto something there, though. Like, yeah, if you have I, I more like than one on... ambush, then maybe you do have less health, but then there's Oh, Goro. Right yeah, Gor Goro as well. Ambush with uh, multiple ambush options. He yeah. has less health, too. Makes sense. Scorpion, is, it's strictly a combo tool with him, so yeah. I can understand his being average. He's overextended, but was there. able to block in the nick of time. Is that the best way to deal with the situation? Get hit by the last one and make everything else whiff? Maybe. When you get hit in a weird way, it can make the ambush pressure type players not know how to best confirm for the situation, but sometimes it's hard to get hit that weird way. Oh, I didn't know that yeah, launch was so high. Situation. Yeah. We got locked down in the corner with no escape, but now is that... Okay, I was worried, but I forgot he teleports on this one. Yeah, kind of looked no like he was sticking around. Yeah, knives came through. Full push with the electric cell on meter burn. 4-3 does get punished at all. Now there's an ambush there. Even with the flawless block, Chupelo gets some damage out of there using back throw. And is so indifferent to wherever the corner is. Doesn't mind exiting with back throw because Chiquela can switch sides with Electric Fly very easily. We'll cover it with an ambush. Electric Fly, teleport. We saw a couple times there with the knife set up on uh, teleport, right? So you get forget about him there. Or even we teleport so fast, you don't even notice that uh, Kano was summoned there for that ambush. 4-4, four, four, convert, uh, down 4 two. Oh, goodbye. Uh, that'll do it. It's got to be it, right? No. And this well, one almost took the hit just to break. With 16 health, it's tough. Down four to finish it off. Young Chiquelo takes it 3-2 over pure. High the 4-3. If the 4-3 whiffs, then you can still at least interrupt high. Uh, you can duck 4-3. So there's that opportunity there. There's a couple opportunities to kind of stop Rated from continuing pressure. Oh, I guess I meant uh, the, the the double low advancing. Oh, thing. double low. 4-4, four, 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 excuse four, me. Three. Okay, yeah, 4-4 yeah. four, four, then. Yeah, that's what I have trouble with. Whoa. Charging up the air, is that is that some kind of fake out from Chiquelo? If you disappear, you're getting caught. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're holding position here. I mean, you do have life lead. Oh my God, just nasty, gonna lay it out, which is a fantastic play. I love it, I love it. It was I'm triple flawless block, three in a row. D does Chiquelo technically strike out as the pitcher of himself using Bobolais? Now you have to chase though. See, and this down forward two is preemptive because it will catch that back two here from smoke. 
Yabada! Oh, nice pickup here. Got the invisibility. Neutral jump. Oh, we are chasing here and has to respect the Kano back there. You Oop. can't catch him. You can't You can try to down back too, but it's so tough because by the time the smoke bomb reaches the location of Raiden, Raiden can let you fly out. And now you're locked yeah, in. Look it's up. a wrap. Smoke drop has so much startup compared to the minuscule recovery of Bobale. And this move, I think, would be, like, it's very, it's got to be one of the best, two of the best special moves in the game are right here on Raiden. Uh, both very abusable. But I feel like Electric Fly would be more of a crowd pleaser if Raiden still shouted and screamed the, the gibberish instead of his new voice lines, which are very, very like, minute and less noticeable than the original one. Raiden. Just, just scream Shuburashi or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you know, all of it. <laughs> What did it at all? That was every every character in MK prior was just yeah. saying gibberish. MK9 Kenshi land in a plus on block armor like what the da? Sorry, it's true. <laughs> really good impression, by the way, for those of you that have played MK9. How does the low hit someone going up into the air and still recover in time for the confirm into fatal? That, I mean, I can't lie. That's not a complaint. That is incredible conversion awareness from Chiquelo. But usually, like, sub low attacks are just more privileged and hit low, but still have hitboxes that reach upward in the air a little bit and manage to catch people who are jumping up, jumping back, or jumping forward. And that one happened to recover soon enough for a pickup into a juggle strike and then fatal blow right away. Right. Got that game one for Chiquelo here. And yeah, it's, it's so tough in this matchup because unfortunately, Raiden has a toolkit that covers so many bases. You have your fireball game, you have a teleport, you have uh, you know mids that can really kind of control a lot of the pace of the match that Smoke wants to play. I do like this ice ball pick though. I think this is a great pick because then you're going to be able to contend with uh, the electric ball game with the low ice that comes through. You get a solid trade on that. I the idea of Sub Zero is great in theory, right? Because then you avoid uh, the zoning game. But clearly, Chiquelo is not going to represent that. So now you have to think about Ice Ball Mix, and then you have your low Ice Freeze. But the pressure alone, again, makes it so difficult for Smoke to really get an edge in this matchup. Four four. Good, yeah, advancing uh, four four three. Basically, uh, one of the ways you can contest that pretty well with Smoke is using back two for a uh, potential low crush. Smoke does land on it and go over. Um, of course, back two is a bigger commitment than the multiple hit cancelable string of Raiden forward four three, which advances yes. while we're profiling. I think we got some, uh, some some misunderstandings of the fundamental power of the tool in the chat, but I hope it becomes clear as Chiquelo keeps playing. Oh, sir, I love Raiden popping off and winning after getting frozen. That's great. <laughs> The other thing, hey, too, the about this uh, this Frost real quick, uh, yeah. if you're already conditioned to expect the back three, two, which the two is the overhead, back three cancel low Frost because it hits low again, so the opponent's usually standing. You get that freeze, which we just saw in that quarter, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I thought maybe that it was only going to be Pulse showing us the Smoke Frost team, but Just Nasty's bringing it out right away in a, mm -hmm. an attempt to show some show something against this uh, Raiden. I think the idea is to have more powerful offense in general, make the most of the corner position, the more dangerous mix-ups, right. option to combo off a throw, as that, uh, we'll, we'll see it get put together. Yeah, I mean, Frost is such a threat uh, to have. That ice ball really changes the pace here. Low ice is so punishable, though. You have to be careful how you're applying it. Huge grip of damage. goes right into the 2-4-2 string. 6% chunk. Nice. Let's just nesting in a good spot. So let's make it to work. All 4-4. Four, four. No, dude, you can't get a cancel there. You have so much meter, but I think you're saving it for a break potentially at this point. It will save your life at least once. Yeah. It will save your life here. You got to now. Not happening. And oh, not no. waking up to get hit. Shoot. Yeah, Flawless blocked it on the way out, but forward four. It hits in the air, but not up that high. And Chiquelo, uh -huh. I honestly think read it. And in addition, jumping back is not fundamentally unsafe either. So you can jump back with a 
indication, maybe a little bit of anticipation that smoke might be doing forward four and advancing. See right. it while you're up there floating in the air and then just jump kick on the way down and get the whiff punish. Yeah. It's a non-committal read that you can act on later. Um, and the more chances players give themselves to be in the right spot and then choose to be able to react to something appropriately is the more likely they are to be successful in the long run. The Anything you can do on reaction is the only guaranteed interaction in fighting games. Us for Sector this side. Those were my two, like, initially exploring Smoke. Sector and Frost were my two, like, first picks because of that ever, uh, ever consuming presence of something on the screen that the opponent has to think about. So Missile is awesome because then you go into your unsafe strings, you have a get out of jail for free with that Missile setup. Uh, same thing for Frostball as well, but, uh, yeah, you can even get combo routes off of Missile. They're a little more difficult compared to Cyrax, which often, like, that was a great, oh, yeah, that down forward. Preemptive, like, yeah. Wow. Just knew Just Nasty wanted to jump. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I have seen some Smoke Sector in my time. I, that was actually the first team I tried playing. And I was, first thing I noticed was down back one combo enter from Smoke always puts the opponent in the exact same spot and distance from you. So it's a very yep. reliable way to summon missiles for Oki, oh. off of which you can convert really well. Exactly. Uh, hopefully we get to see a chance. It is elimination point for Just Nasty. Chiquelo moving faster every round, it seems. I think the reason why we don't see a whole lot of Sector is because that's really all you see Sector for is Missile. Like, Sector does have that uh, Fireball setup. Um, not Fireball, but the, the Flamethrower flame setup. But after that, it's just, that's really yeah. about it for Sector. You don't get too much beyond that. The Uppercut Punch is a combo True. center that is too slow to work off of a lot of characters' best springs. Um, it's not, and it also scales damage pretty heavily, kind of like a Sonya Leg Grab. Anyway, big chance for Just Nasty. This is a stable combo with a stable ender. We'll see a missile setup, no doubt. Yeah, Whoa. Ooh, nice low confirm. The missile didn't even make contact. The missile yeah. is EP. Uh -oh. Area pickup. Uh oh, That's the it. missile got it too, but. Oh no! The missile messed with the gravity and Just Nasty goes out to Sector. Sector with the kill right now over Smoke, betraying the Lin Kuei. Right into Grand Finals. Uh, I think the loser's power up is real for Chiquelo right now. I, I'd be, I'm not, I wouldn't say be afraid of your hour glass of rain, but I've been, I think we've been seeing him cook, get hotter and hotter, oh, yeah. better and better. Um, the time has come. And, and the beautiful thing, Chiquelo feeds off the haters too. Yeah, I know. I both, know. both Shuleta and Chiquelo feed off the haters. So the more you hate, <laughs> the more powerful they become. <laughs> Basically, uh, what we're at the stage oh, we're in right now, yo, this is, okay. uh, that was cool. Um, we're in the Maturino prize pool stage. Yes. These are all of your redeemed tokens standing on, uh, sitting all over the ground over there. And that wheel back there is the commentators making sure that the codes keep getting used by talking about them. Yeah. Anyway, we've surely cleared them by now. Yeah, the codes have been used up. So thank you so very much. This is the last opportunity to get some last minute donations into it. A single dollar goes a long way. Remember the goal, $300 for a top four payout if you could. Let's get to it here. And even still, sponsor quests along the side as well to support that match arena. We can't thank you enough for that. If you all have any hearts, you will make sure that loser Semi's placer gets paid. Oh! Back to the yeah, other absolutely. side. That duck was beautiful here from Hourglass of Rain. Allowing this full punish. Nice pick up off low hat after the low side. I like getting to call it Lao Hat or Low Hat, and it kind of sounds the same and means yeah. the same thing, but you can just choose which other, whichever way. <laughs> it means the same thing. I, I, also, I like to say Lao Low Hat or Low Lao Hat too. Low Lao? <laughs> low Lao. Yeah. La Li Lule Lo. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Did they switch sides off that interaction? Yeah, they did. did. Oh boy. <laughs> so Got that scoop. Good little back throw here. Hold the corner, please. We got that beautiful deep dish, and you get all the corner slices. Ta ha ha ha. It's actually Detroit style, because, you know, we don't, we don't have lasagnas out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, makes What's sense. What's up with that? What's up with Chicago and, you know, making lasagnas? I don't get it. They call it pizza, know. but it's a lasagna. Like, the fact of the matter is. None of, nonetheless, the utterance of each of those words makes me hungrier. Like Melina for flesh, I hunger for 
post tournament meal, uh, whether it's post elimination and you're eating your feelings or uh, post victory and celebrating at the McDonald's drive through with your winnings. Dude, I want nuggies uh, now. Yeah, um, are we sponsored? Has, has TNS had a history no. of being sponsored by any particular fast food place? I don't No, uh, No, we have not yet. Okay. I mean, we do have Monster Energy. Monster Energy. All right. Uh, Monster needs to start selling at particular fast food locations, and then we'll recommend them to the people. We'll include them in our stories about our post-locals victory uh, fast food meals among our friends. All right. And thank you so much, Rome. TNS Rome himself with the spectacular stream, I'm sure. And thank you for raiding here as Raiden applies huh. the shock therapy to Melina. Spectacular 20 viewers just in time for the climax of this thing. Man. No doubt they'll see it through to the end. People get so upset about that down forward too. Like, what's up with that? Down forward two from... Uh... From Raiden. It just, it, like, yeah, I've seen this before. I'm like, dude, yeah, you have. You talking about, see it again. Talking about Storm Cell? No, down forward two. The up, the lightning. That. Oh, That's yeah. down forward two. That's in every game. I don't know. It's just it's just a combo tool. I, I don't get exactly. upset by that. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's called, uh, I believe it's called Shocker in other games. Well, it's definitely in MK9 and X and 11 and 1. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, Peace? You brought up a very valid point. If you're patient with Melina, she eventually will do something unsafe because that is the rock, paper, scissors of fighting games. Sometimes you gotta do a little something crazy to open the opponent up, see what happens. MK1 though, the clock ticks. If she's got the life lead, I don't know if she will. A lot of these players play oh, mad yeah. smart. They play, they play the clock and they play the cameo clock, mm -hmm. waiting for cameo to come back before they act and do something unsafe that they can make safe. You really do have to pursue them and stick to them like glue when that bar is empty. Yeah. Um, maybe even snipe a cameo, make sure it stays empty for longer. We're all going to get better and more creative at hitting cameos, I think, as we become more aware. Yeah, it, it's always, again, like we talked about a little bit about this earlier. Like Some players that are so consistent with one single cameo, but having the ability to swap out cameos on the fly, depending upon the situation, I think will be important as time uh, progresses through MK's MK1's life. Uh, Kano's like a great pick, like kind of a coverall really for for Raiden. But again, like kind of what we saw for the last set of just, hey, I have these multitude of options that can really kind of cover the weaknesses that my character has against this matchup in particular. Um, is, is a really fascinating concept that I hope we continue to explore. Now, in uh, the launch version of this game. You could use your cameo reversals while holding the block button, and if there were any gap, your, for example, Lao Spin as a reversal would come out. It used to give full combos as well in that same version of the game. Now it does not give combo on reversal, and you cannot mash it on block. So yeah, using yeah, yeah. the cameo reversals defensively got a lot harder very quickly into the game's life. Meanwhile, uh, using ambush cameos defensively has remained very easy. Um, Striker, probably the quintessential example, but Kano can do similar uh, with knives. Mm -hmm. Point being, though, I think we haven't seen Kung Lao used as a reversal against anyone. It's all no. been like, what? like literally all of it. Kind of like, a, it's not to say that Kung Lao is a one trick pony. Uh, he's a very versatile cameo, but Lohat is just that good and in itself that versatile. Sector, though, missiles, that's a one trick pony. Literally, um,. When he was picked, we didn't see the flamethrower or the restand once. It was only missiles from uh, Just Nasty. Oh my really goodness. good pull. Oh. Yeah, both these players now single combo away from victory. Actually got the interrupt on uh, Oh my on god! Kano's setup, fell. and of course Electric Cell will definitely catch that teleport here. Hourglass had some awareness, but yeah, that Electric Cell, there's not much you could do about that one. Into the eye of the storm. What? what? Uh, okay, cool. That was awesome. Uh, Rain what? gets cornered uh, off was of it there, as well. Was there a hurt box back there? What happened? You left your yes. frames over there, Raiden. It's a classic Paulo please moment. Extended hurt box on the other side, into a straight cinematic, um, cinematic uh, attack from Melina. Yeah. 
I, I love all the camera movement attacks on like strings with grabs or grabs in this game. Very dynamic. Yeah, it, you either get the regular one. I think uh, it also had this running theory. I'm pretty sure they changed the sim cinematic style, like the pacing of where the camera is based on if it's counter or not sometimes. Cause like you get that one, but if it's a counter back throw, then you get the full like, whoa, the slow-mo where they kind of linger in the sky a little bit longer. Yes, um, also back throws will have slowdown in general so that you can learn to time your ambush cameos with them right. naturally. Um, cameos not available for horror throw because your cameo is doing the throw, so it's always with back throw that they know you're going to be trying to mess with it. Yeah, the overheads towards the end of a life bar, Chiquela will always shave you down with the overhead to a point oh, where Storm Cell will do the rest of the work, and it's Amplify Storm Cell. Yeah. Tossing that whole thing out there. You forgot he could even do that, didn't you? Well, there no, it is. No, I didn't forget. I was just like, it's too uh -huh. far, and then I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Like, the nope. one cancel, you'll be able to get that. So I guess, like, I forgot that you were going to do, like, I didn't forget it was there. You, yeah. I wasn't thinking about it, is what it was. Yeah, right? Who could have been? Because we right. haven't seen it once after we've witnessed 300 storm cells. That's the first purple shockwave amplifies wave right. send we've seen, you know. And I don't even think Hourglass was thinking about it at all. Like, same situation. Like, I am in the position of Hourglass at that point. Of, I'm not thinking about that. It hasn't happened. I didn't block it because, oh, why would I have ever thought of that? I've not seen this in the set so far. So good stuff from uh, Chiquilo. We are here should you need us. Yeah, um, did not get to play against Hourglass of Rain anywhere earlier in the bracket as it was uh, just announced in the winner's finals. I think, did, did, no, did they play a mirror side top eight? I don't know. Too late to check. Let's, let's no, watch. Did not. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah, Young Chiquelo has been on loser's side of top eight this entire time. That's it. That's that loser's run. It's too powerful. Again, that same kind of punish across the side. That's, Melina's teleport might be the best move for punishing Air Electric Fly in the whole game. Looks crazy. Okay, so Young Chiquelo lost to Pure in uh, top eight. Or not and top then, eight, in pools. And then got the run back in top yeah, eight. Yeah, with the exact same score. It was 3 2 in Pure's favor. And then for their run back, it was 3 2 Young Chiquelo's favor. Yep, Chiquelo brought that back. This time the overhead comes pretty early into the life bar. Now, Raiden's at full bar. Is he just going to hold on to it? Can he even... He wants to land a combo now and find a good way to use this bar so he can keep building new bar. There's the combo. Right? The meter and resources will guide the decision-making. Nobody yes. wants to sit on full bar forever. You get to spend more if you build more. Cell, hold the frames. Nice. Got her back there. Hold that position too with 16 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's right. I saw Kato. What's Kato doing? And you literally had just talked about it. Yep. Because you could set up your cameo during back throw. Yep. During that nice slowdown, they make it easier to time. I think only one of Kato's knives landed, but it's okay. God. Every time that hits from point blank, I just think it's a little rude. Like point blank electric fly into the corner. It has like no travel whatsoever, even though you're used to it moving people. And it just, it looks like it, it just seems rude. It's him. The overhead, of course. Yeah, probably, I got caught by the birdie too of Kano sitting right there. Like Kano's doing something. I gotta okay. respect that. Did you see though that Chiquelo actually canceled the Kano ball after Tel? I'll see you next time. <laughs> that was it. That was a <laughs> quick cut to the end. And Chiquelo oh, wins the end. They see you later. <laughs> The fact that it had a, an accompanied note of music, it was... <laughs> okay, okay, well, Chiquelo might get the reset, I mean... And then bring that screen up again on the reset. It's about 11%, 8% away. Hourglass could find it would have been, it. It been perfect if, if it was round start and a single hit came from, like, to Chiquelo, <laughs> and then it cut to that scene next time, like... No, no, no. It's one Storm Cell on block, and oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> storm All right, Cell, well, and see you next time. Next set, next set. <laughs> Laser and Lightning team combines for a quick 3-1 victory. Now... Have you ever seen Hourglass of Rain play any other Melina loadouts? Has it always been Lau? No, it's always been Lau. Yeah, I've only seen Lau from them too. 
I mean, a couple other Molinas I've seen with Scorpion, but I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong with Lao, man. You cannot go wrong. Yeah, yeah, for this, this pairing in particular, like, it's so strong. I can't think of another assist that I would do. Like, hmm. like, I guess I would say Frost, right? That'd be another pick mm -hmm. that I think would work well for Molina. But you get so much versatility out of Low Hat alone because of the kit that Molina has. And I know I'm talking about, like, how you can have more versatility depending upon the situation you're put into. But some pairings are just really well put together. Yeah, for sure. Some are canon. There's no Lee Mei without Scorpion cameo. Um, there's borderline <laughs> no Molina without the Kung Lao cameo. That's damn one. Nice throw. I don't Gyrus without Kamao either. What? No, I've seen Gyrus with, uh, you know. I've seen Gyrus some... with. Uh, oh, Sub Zero. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> Burrito Voorhees plays Cyrax with Gyrus, uh, but a lot of people are down on Cyrax these days. Still pretty good, I think. Blocking the mushroom ball with Duck, too. Great patience from Hourglass. We're trying to turn this around, and unfortunately, the menacing Raiden still walking forward. Nice back throw. I've definitely seen some Scorpion with Molina. Um, combo video type combos, reminiscent of Lee Mei, but um, end discussion. It's going to be Kung Lao from Hourglass of Rain. Trying to get that teleport. Kung Lao is shut down now, too. Especially with that hit, we're going to wait a long time for this hat to come back. He's back. <laughs> he's back. Yeah, he's back, but look at the damage being done to Melina. 4-4, four, yeah. four, and that's the kill here, actually. Four. Yeah, absolutely. Probably was going to get up to maybe 11% more from that. 11, yeah, yeah. it would be 3 Because it was yeah. a 4. No, it was 4-4 four, four star, so it would be about 3 -80. Yeah, very good. Well, 4-hit string. What's this one, 380? Oh, he dropped it and then found a 5% chunk to make a 380 on the Oki. Happy little reset. Flawless blocked it, oh. and then got hit by the frame trap after. Charge projectiles tend to be very plus, even from that closer Ooh. spacing. All right, tilt and tumble, able to get out of that corner. Back four. Didn't confirm on that stand one, because we didn't believe in the hit. Try to stay aerial as long as we could. We were wary of the Kano. No, stop dropping combos, our class. You could have killed. Yes, definitely. Um, and what stinks too, Breaker will be back now probably for the next combo that Chiquelo gets hit by. Oh my god, if there is a chance. Oh, the stagger. No. Oh no. Oh, no. Wallace Buck right, to Wallace, stay alive. That's perfect. That's perfect. Wow. That's the punish. That should kill. Finish it. Absolutely. No, it doesn't. Oh, no. To play when we got the dive kick to wrap it up, Micah. That could have been absolutely terrible. If it was the wrong decision, if you try to go for, for side toss, you had to go for that dive kick. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to to avoid chip. And the timing just narrowly worked out. If Chiquelo delayed the electric fly, yeah. could have whiff punished the dive kick. If if, uh, if he was patient, you know, like that yeah. would have been a completely <laughs> different scenario of just, oh, God, the I'd be mad nervous. If Chiquelo just stood up and tried to walk down Hourglass at that point. That would be so frightening. But to be honest, I'm with Chiquelo. My decision would have been instant air like the fly. Oh, yeah. just kind of instantly end it. Like, imagine you walk forward and then she just down fours you or something. Like, you would feel so stupid. Right? I'd be like, great. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. All right. We got the low side. That's a fair trade. Who got first hit, though? Um, It was actually... I think Melina it was... got first hit, but it was with an EX move. So yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Melina yeah, true, back. true. It was EX uh, side toss. Oh, the secret third hit low. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen too much of that from Chiquelo either from the 4 2 2. Yep. Boom. One. Nice. 4 4 confirm here. Turn. Good 380. Take. No, 327. All 4 4. My bad, my bad. Y'all nerfed it. I forgot. <laughs> Didn't notice. Didn't want to block, huh? All right. Lawless blocking. That worked out. <laughs> All right, Hourglass. Bring it back. Yes. Whoa. Not just using the low hat for a meaty. And Chiquelo woke up into it. Got combo. Oh. Off of it. 
Oh, what what that was actually a miss input because there was a full kick there. It was the back kick, but uh... okay. I th I think there was a victory path for Hourglass. Chocolo was gonna land on the Lao Hat. Oh. Hourglass ducks the knives oh. and Ooh. then teleport combos. I guess. I don't know. Sweep. Go ahead, stand up for me. I got the back four. Yes, sweeps are good in this game. Yes. They finally are. It took many years. Con Lao breaks rating. It seems like uh, without any meter, the teleport is just a single hit. No combo available. Oh my god! What a conversion! Max range alley oop into the Kun Lao low hat from Hourglass of Rain. That thing wasn't even on the screen. How do you know? Alright, got that overhead. Four, four. How do you know? Yeah. Good flawless. Oh no, opened up a little bit too early. All this meter is pretty threatening. I don't think Hourglass will be able to get Breaker in time, especially not with the Fatal Blow coming in so soon on the next combo. Oh, what a roll! Traded with Kano Ball, and that will finish there for the round. Good trade. Narrowly, narr I mean, such a huge risk. That yeah. In in instant punish into Fatal Blow would have taken the game for Chiquillo, but you know what? Hourglass is up, so you got to make the winning plays while you have the set lead. That's Chance a kind of a up one game type decision. Exactly, right? You cannot play to lose less. You have to play to win. Don't lose smarter. Win. Only win. Down four. Really letting you know the distance that you're allowed to play in here. Because Kano, but we got the spin too far away to get the punish. That was a great call from Hourglass. Just wasn't able to hit the mark. Yeah, maybe you had to forward dash a little first. Yeah. Okay, got the flawless. Unfortunately, it was the last hit. You got the flawless on Kano. Mm. Smart, though, to uh, yeah. go for back throw as Chiquelo. Once again, he's totally indifferent to the corner. He knows Molina can land any hit and side switch easily, such as ball roll. So uh, back throws are pretty much guaranteed. People aren't going to stop taking back throw. Back escape? What am I talking about? <laughs> I guess it's too obvious. It happened too much. I love people aren't going to take back throw. Take back throw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In the corner, too, while it's not the most rational choice, it is the one that was correctly predicted. Uh, puts Hourglass. Oh, you're right. 10 the seconds, 10 seconds, there, and we'll dodge there for all that Hourglass needs. No, oh, no, no. You're, you're, right, you're right, you're right. It's over, honestly. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Even the breaker takes time, so yeah, that'll do it. That breaker really is a checkmate guarantor sometimes. Yep. Insurance goes a long way in fighting games. And as long as Chiquelo wants to play that zoning game, you're going to build up the meter. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, trying to close the gap. You're not spending it on, on down four or two, which you were right. It's still called Shocker. Um, Shocker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. So keep it up. I mean, some of those move names are so low effort. Uh, he's got electricity. It's Shocker, okay? Uh um, electric fly, he's flying and there's electricity around him. Uh, his other special move is probably called Zap Zap or something. <laughs> okay, but I mean, like, come on. We, yeah. we call Hadoken Fireball, you know? Which is the same amount of syllables. It's wasteful. I'd rather call it a Hadoken, honestly. I want people to know I'm talking about specifically a Ryu or Ken projectile, not any... Not any um, air slasher, sonic boom type nonsense. Not none of those good fireballs. Just hot open. My goodness, the dive. Nice. It will see that turn back soon. It is funny when there's like an ice projectile and people still call it fireball because <laughs> it's a projectile. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I do that. I do that up. all the time with Sub Zero and Eleven. Like, look at that fireball go. Yeah, it's literally not fire, dude. Sure, it couldn't be further ice. from the truth. <laughs> it's firing a ball. Fireball. Like, sometimes fighting game lingo crosses a line you know, into just the realm of illogicality. Stand that was a cool combo. Got that break. Still able to get one more touch for the win here, but has to be so careful. The threat of Kano is real, but we got the teleport for a round finish. Yep. Spent armor on it. A snowball? Don't tell me how to call a fireball here, DJ. You, you, 
if you're firing a ball, it's a fireball. I will stand by that for no other reason than just doing it here. Yes. Stand your ground, Zero. Don't let chat tell you nothing. These are your people. You're not their people. Oh, nice low side. Oh. Yeah, only needs about 18 more of those to win the round. Look at the Kano Ball cancel just to psych, him, psych out Hourglass of Rain. Mid travel cancel. And it actually saves Cameo Bar when you do that every time. He comes back faster when you cancel the ball. Oh no! Whoa. Okay, thank God. I thought that armor ball. Full punish on Electric Fly. No Kano to support you. Yeah, that maybe that was a force of habit there from Chiquelo. You don't typically see <gasps> the full commitment to unsafe Babalays. Ooh, try to go for that cartwheel. Not working. But we can block low. Nice One back combo. dash. No yeah, our glass is kind of in control here. That Johnny, though. Or not Johnny, Kano. Yeah. About to take the first set lead. There it is. Right on cue. Any brutal? No. Save a possible tournament winner. I am with you. It's all business here for our glass of rain. 2 1 right now in the reset for grand finals. You could tell they're both very experienced players. Not just in tournament, but they've been grinding over 100 levels. I mean, I thought the profile experience ended at 100, like Pokemon or something, but no, no, no. The grind is never ending. Fighting right. games really give you some pretty good bang for your buck. You I never, mean, ever stop learning. Yeah, exactly. You know, in, in the reality of fighting, you never truly hit a cap on your, your knowledge, your experience. Your experience continues to grow over time. So you should be able to ascend beyond level 100. It's that cool. is the yeah. message that Mortal Kombat is trying to tell all of you. That's Just what Daigo wrote in the will to keep winning. Mm -hmm. You can keep and fighting games. You're not limited by your body quite as much. You won't just age out of your ability to be a peak performer, at least not for a long time. Old man reactions aren't real, by the way. They're just, you just have to train yourself. You can react faster to things with training. Don't be a coward. Stop making excuses. Be brave. Be brave. Oh, he said it. He said the line. He said, Thunder take you. But it's lightning. Thunder's a noise that you never hear. It's okay. Raiden's You're the thunder god, but he uses electricity. It's fine. I guess thunder is a force of electricity. I'm not. It, I, I'm it's not like a, a shockwave. It's like a sonic boom. Right. Sonic Thun boom. Yeah, thunder shakes your house, you know? So, just like this throw, gonna shake the foundation, but a breaker. That full screen presence. Nice you. teleport. Oh, with punish! Big opportunity! Do we get the fatal blow? We do! I don't think that's gonna kill. No, no. It's, I don't know, maybe. Oh my god, it's doing so much. It's so. Oh, 950 light, he's dead. Oh my god, he's dead. Is he dead? I kill him, I kill him, I kill him. Oh my god, okay. I was definitely mashing. Oh no, shot! The tumble, oh. but the little hat gets the kill! Just narrowly, and Hourglass of Rain took some cameo damage there right at the end. Had mm -hmm. just enough life to squeeze out, but if that were 950 life, I think that would have been Chiquelo's round. Hourglass took the damage first. And take that low side, but unfortunately wasn't active in time here. Teleport does get blocked, but we do have the low hat, so no punish. Good block on the overhead from Chiquelo. I'm so good at mashing for Fatal Blow, by the way. Some people in the chat think it could have killed with better mashing, and I'm inclined to agree. You're probably right, you know? You, uh, Considering the history of Mortal Kombat, that's probably accurate. You literally can use so many fingers and all the trigger buttons and face buttons to mash. It's very easy to max it out. Anyway, uh, if you don't mind doing controller damage, that is. I just roll my thumbs over the face button, you know, because it, it still does the same thing. Hourglass of Rain doing a lot of physical damage to Jaquilo's life bar. I'm trying to win this tournament yeah, right now, 3-1. It's actually... Oh, but the Kano with the defense mm -hmm. prevented Hourglass from being able to pick up off the Kunlao low hat. This is very close. Got the low. No, 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 forget to confirm. Flawless block will prevent this chip damage. Wow. Okay. Chikuelo backdash away from the down one and whip punch it with 4-4. This is a highly unscaled fatal blow. Yeah. They're going to be almost dead even on life. I think maybe Chikuelo has a life lead by a, by a small amount. No, no, no. Or mash they're, they're they're just you know he's mashing. Either way, a throw will kill after this, and yeah, so will yeah. some spray hits. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. The 4-4, rather. 
Oh, had to flawless if he wanted to get out of that situation here. Oh. Pop around, no. pop around. Not out of the situation, simply no. into a new one, in a new round. Fighting for your life. Chiquelo arrives at the right side corner. Nice. Immediately, Hourglass Rain gets out with that armor. I'm pretty sure Raiden has some good double hit moves to stuff armor, but it's all been success on armored reversal so far. Maybe a fortunate streak for Hourglass of Rain. Because we committed to that 4-4, I mean, you could try to go for Electric Cell in that situation there, but because it's armored, it's not going to work out. The two hits doesn't come in time. Really? Maybe yeah. Maybe you went super early or something? I'm not sure. Like, yeah, if it was like 4-4 one time and not 4-4-3 like we had there, then you probably would have. But the way right. that the wave of Electric Cell works, it doesn't always consistently hit two above uh, Raiden. Is Jaquelo coming back in this one already? Oh, oh the whiff! That's it! Yep, took advantage. I think Hourglass of Rain was getting ready to block after... Whoa, that cut to Winpo is really fast. That, yeah, really uh, quick right there. I, I've never seen that be so fast before. Um, definitely blocking after ball roll whiff, thinking that an attempt at a regular punish was coming, and there's Jaquelo with the foresight, predicting that exactly, and goes for back throw, settling it at 2-2. Two, two. Final game, possibly. We'll see if we go to a final round. Living forest. Living forest. God, this kid is so grotesque. Like, what are you doing, man? He's disrespectful. You think you're that cool? You just pull up and like, I blow thought up my nose like that? He doesn't okay, think he's bro. cool. He just doesn't think. He just doesn't care. Who wants to hire that guy? I don't know. He's a good cameo. He, this is it's about the first game he's missed as a main playable character in like three Mortal Kombat games. I can't imagine rule, why blowing your snot everywhere. Yeah. The rule is uh, once you make three games in a row, you're not in the next one. And once you're out of three games in a row, you are in the next one, which is why Smoke is back in this one. Um, and why Jax and Kano are both gone. And Sonya. That's pretty good here. Yeah. I, I have so, seen, there's other ways that it's true too. Oh no. Yeah, looking at that one interrupt there. You play the guessing game. Okay, got our flawless. That's a positive scenario for Hourglass. Goes for the tilt and tumble, and the hat can't save you from this damage. Nice carry with the electric fly. Match point for you and Chiquelo. Well, the ball roll may have gotten Hourglass killed, but it also got them out of the corner. A big deal. Kano taking the low hat hit, kind of advantageous. Dude's just tanking hits out there. Put the bonus block on the electric ball, but does get the electric fly on the... Kung Lao summon. Now we're caught in this corner. Great forward escape, though. Yep, makes sense. Hourglass needs to spend some meter and find, find a solid hit. Oh, Actually, got to spend a breaker maybe on the next one. No Just opportunities. Yeah, I'm not going for the comboable strikes while breaker's there. Oh my god. Just a little hit at a time. Bullet, yeah, single hit into electric cell for chip if you want to, but now we got corner swap. Big damage opportunity for Hourglass here. Yes, but now that the breaker's oh, on. Oh, that's it. No, breaker's breaker, breaker. there. Wants to win now. I wasn't sure if it was going to get spent or not. Huh? Makes sense, though. Trying to win right here, right now. Okay, you let Kung Lao take that hit. Ball is. Oh, he returned the ladder fast! And still didn't get punished. They're both scrambling. Okay. It's an intense situation. situation here. Yeah. Going for the single electric ball here. Has to be quick. Kung Lao Nobody... does get through. Does it block oh the God. electric fly? One touch of the overhead will get the finish. Young Chiquelo, 3-2. And it was the last hit of that 8% overhead. Perfectly calculated.